all right thank you to everyone who's come on time thank you to the facebook family as well i will not be able to show my video right now the um anchor and our team or the presenters will show their videos soon enough all right we'll start off with a word of prayer right now quickly let's all close our eyes as we seek God in prayer for this very beautiful and lovely uh, lesson that we're going to have today in the afternoon. Let's all close our eyes and ask God, our Savior, for everything. Our Father in heaven, we thank you this afternoon. Thank you, Lord, from the different parts of the world that you've kept us alive. We appreciate your presence. Moreover, we appreciate your love that you've granted out to us. Today, we're talking about a very important, life-changing institution that you've given unto us before the fall of man and the one that you're giving to us even after the fall of man. Thank you so much for the institution of marriage. We pray for the couple that will talk through to us, Ruth and Valentine. Lord, may you please imbue them with the spirit that comes from above. Bless the participants that are here. Bless the anchor, Melissa. Bless us all abundantly more until such a time that we are ready for your second coming. Be with us and keep us safe in Jesus' name. Let everybody say amen. All right. Beautiful. Okay, we're going to start off with our announcements right now. Very quickly, I'll start off with the announcements that we have. And then after the announcements, when I'm done with them, I'll hand over to our anchor, who's going to probably introduce our couple. And then from there on, the couple takes us through our lesson, which is very interesting. I'll try to make sure that by half past, we are starting off our lesson. Okay, so these are the announcements that we have for... Um, the day. So welcome to the 230 Conversations. Now, if this is your first time, welcome and beautiful. And the question is, where have you been? So please do check out other videos that we've had that we have done before um, on our YouTube channel. So we are all about thought facilitation and discussion. We are a Christian platform that affiliates itself to the Seventh-day Adventist Church. So if you're coming in from another denomination, welcome, welcome. Thank you for visiting us. We appreciate your presence here at 230 Conversations. We are currently live on Facebook and on Facebook where we are, um, we are live and we are on the 230 Conversations page right there. So we're very grateful about the 230 Conversation page, which is where we are live streaming from. Please do like this page. Please do follow this page because right there on this particular page is where we post the upcoming programs and there are many and they are beautiful as well. And also you can get our previous videos also on this very page, the 230 Conversations page on uh Facebook. Okay, further on, we've got the 2.30 uh, conversations on YouTube. Now, I've, I get excited about this one because this is where we post all our previous um, uh, engagements, our previous programs and everything like that. So you will find quite a lot of things there on that particular page, the 2.30 conversations YouTube page. It's not 2.30, it's 230 conversations SDA. So please do subscribe to it. This particular uh, lesson that we're having now will be available by the end of the day. As soon as we're done, probably in the next two, three hours after we're done with the lesson, we'll make sure that this particular lesson is already on YouTube. We are also on Instagram, but under Instagram, we are under our parent, SDA underscore advertise. Do like this page. It's a page whereby you can post quite a lot of things in there as well. So if you've got other programs that your church is running, that your ministry is running, whatever the case could be, please do visit this page and look talk, talk to the owners of it. They'll be able to advertise your programs there. Again, this page, SDA Advertise, is also on Facebook. That's our mother. That's where we come from. We've just moved out to the 230 Facebook page, but this is our mother. Also, please do like it. You'll find a lot of useful information on those pages. Now, again, 230 has a child. The child is called 930 Sabbath School Lesson. So every single Sabbath at, at 930, we make sure that we've got a Sabbath school lesson. So today's lesson was come to me. It was done by me, Um Tandazo. And then also Leander's going to be doing it next week. He's one of our partners here in the 230 Conversations family. Upcoming program. Oh, yes, please. Couple goals, the joys of marriage. So these past couple of weeks have been hectic. Let's agree. We talked about divorce. We talked about divorce from a man's perspective, from a woman's perspective, and talked about divorce from uh, or submission. We talked about uh, violence in marriage, which was last week a very taxing thing to do. But this time we end July, month end, payday on a high note, and we are so excited. Couple goals, the joys of marriage, Ruth and Valentine's in New we cannot wait. Next week, why am I an Adventist? The month of August is the month of um, 
Women's Month here in South Africa, and we're studying everything women in this particular month. So why am I an Adventist? Samukas are taking us through the other week, the word against the world. That's what is going to take us through on the 14th of August, 21 of 21 August, no spiwo baloi childhood wounds. Can't wait, can't wait. Then the last Sabbath of um, August is a secret, is a surprise. It's not going to be a woman, it's going to be a man, and it's going to be very exciting. Next week, by then, we would have confirmed the surprise, and we'll put it in our slides as well. Now, in September, it's a, it's a month of theology, and we're starting off on something very beautiful, which is how are we saved the 4th of September. Dr. Admar, please don't miss those particular conversations. And then again, going on with the line of theology, we men and we men, manhood from a biblical lenses, that's what we're going to be talking about on the 11th of September. Pastor Kaya Mieza, the essence of giving on the month of theology, 18th of September. Then we've got oh, Brother Arthur or Smanda, the church and sexuality. We speak more again about uh, the theology of the church and sexuality. October is another beautiful month. We have our speaker, our first one, Kobegan Ashton, who's going to talk us about, he take us through of if failure was a person. We are inviting you next week to our 9.30 Sabbath school lesson. Same link, uh, uh, same ties, finding rest in family ties. That's what we're talking about next week with Oprah Leander at half past nine. Now, last thing before we go further. Okay, so we've got an airtime contribution, an airtime an airtime fund in this particular situation. So we're asking all of you, if, if, if you want to contribute, please do contribute to this airtime fund. You can contact me, Umtanda, so that's my number right there. Also as well, there are people who want airtime. Please do not get tired of asking. Do not get tired of asking. Ask for airtime for data every single Sabbath. We'll do our best to help you. So far, we've been okay, though there are days when things are not really that well. Last but not least, we are grateful, very, very grateful. This platform, this Zoom platform, this 100 people full Zoom platform is proudly sponsored by the Northern Conference DASA chapter. So we're grateful to the Northern Conference DASA chapter because they've been doing quite the most in helping us to actually maintain this platform. All right, without further ado, Melissa, put on your video. Let's get ready to have as much fun as possible in Jesus. I've tried to, I've asked to unmute you so you can go and put on your video right now, Melissa. So let me try that again. There's my Melissa there. And also our speakers, I'm going to ask to unmute you. There you are. And then also please do put on your videos, our speakers, as we get ready to start off our lesson right now. There's the beautiful couple. Melissa is our anchor today. God bless you, Sister Melissa. At this moment, I'm going to give over to you. Hallelujah. Um, thank you, Mta. Um, Can you hear me? Loud and clear. Perfect. Okay. Um, welcome, everyone, to 230 Conversations. It's another exciting episode, and we are going to be talking about Um Jolo, but on the brighter side. So we have Urut and Valentine. As you can see, they're seated together. You know, love is in the air already. So yeah, we can expect to learn quite a lot from them. So um, Ruth, I will not take too much of your time. And Valentine, you can take over. So the floor is yours. Okay, uh, can we all see the screen? Yes, we can. Yes, we can. All right. I greet you all in the loving name of our Savior and King. And we just want to take this opportunity to thank um, the, those that came up with this 230 Conversation Network. Thank you for having us here. You would have chosen any couple, but you chose us. And we are grateful for this. And we hope um, through his inspiration, we can do justice to this topic. Thank you. Yes, uh, I don't know whether um, it was in, in April. Yeah, when, when, they... when <laughs> Tandazo and Ashley came over for a Sabbath meal. Yeah. And I think they just got excited and then they <laughs> said, you guys must come and present about, probably my wife, they were excited about the food that my wife had cooked. <laughs> and then they said, no, we are inviting you. So. 
Uh, thank you so much, guys, for giving us this opportunity to speak about our experiences in marriage. Mm. Uh, we are here to have fun. Mm. So, yeah, um, we are going to be talking about uh, couple goals and the joys of marriage. Of marriage. All right. Uh, first and foremost, we want to give this disclaimer of what we are not here to do and what we are here to do. Firstly, we are not marriage counselors. We do not have the profession or the qualification. So please understand we are sharing what has worked for us in our marriage. So whatever you feel will work for you, what you can take, please do take. Whatever will not work, if you are not in agreement with what we share today, it's okay, but it's, I, I can guarantee you and I can testify it's worked for us and it is a joyful institution so far. Yes, um, we are discussing the joys of marriage. I'm sure the host uh, highlighted that the month of July mm. has been a very tough one, um, hearing uh, the bad side. And mm. um, so today we are talking all things pretty, all things beautiful, why God uh, met this. In, you know, God did not just create this institution so that people can be miserable. Mm -hmm. God created it so that we can have joy True. in this marriage. So, 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 so we are only talking positives. If present time comes and it's something, we are not entertaining anything negative. We are entertaining why you should get married and why this institution is beautiful. Mm. So, and I must say, um, with, in our marriage and, and maybe many other married correct. couples here mm. can testify that there's actually more joys than the negative. So 100%. that's what we're sharing today. 100%. The joys, what, what takes bulk of the marriage, which mm. is the joys. Mm. So I, I'm sure you had enough time to ask the previous speakers before us about negatives and they probably highlighted all those negatives. But today we are sharing what Ruva, the Ruva marriage is all about, and we are enjoying it to the T. Okay, so Ellen White has this to say uh, in the book, Adventist Home, page 70. If there's any subject that should be considered with calm reason and an impassioned judgment, it is the subject of marriage. Mm -hmm. I understand that uh, probably most of the guests at 2.30 are people that are not yet married, one of them being Ashley. And uh, <laughs> yeah, tough. they are not yet married. And um, it is one subject that we need to speak about, uh, especially in the church, because the spirit of prophecy is very clear that it, it's, it should be considered with calm reason and unimpassioned judgment. So it's, it's a good thing that we are going to expose the brighter side of marriage and you get to have the both sides mm -hmm. like what what has been what has been what has been uh, discussed um so it is very important that we discuss this issue of marriage from probably um people who are already married mm -hmm. and get their views and understanding um now favors what better way to start this topic than a verse from the bible because you know marriage comes from god it was created by god and it's one of the first institutions that he made holy um in the book of genesis we're already finding this institution this holy institution called marriage um in proverbs 18 verse 22 he say it says he who finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor from the Lord, favor from the Lord. Can can you just touch on that? You know, this verse just makes me get excited. I think I even once preached a sermon. You on did. This. Um, 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 he who finds a good thing, mm. I mean, he who finds a wife finds a good thing mm -hmm. and obtains favor, favor from, from the, the Lord. Lord. Now, if you if you if you look at it, love, um, there are certain blessings that I could not get mm. when I was single okay okay and there are certain blessings that i started to get hey. the day that we met and we tied the note mm -hmm. probably one person might ask okay what 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 is this for me 
it was a blessing of orderliness. I can name one. Orderliness. Um, what do I mean by orderliness? You know, when you are a single person, um, that is me. I'm, 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 by the way, we're speaking my, our experience. Yeah. So I look at even how I used to spend money when I was single mm. and the kind of interests that I had when I was single. Mm. Um, when the issue of marriage came in, I can recall all the past decisions that I had made. And I think to myself, if only this woman had come in earlier, if only I had met her earlier, you know, I, I, I can think of even um, um, financially, you know, when, when, when there were contracts, right, that I, that I got when I was single, the moment I got married, the contracts became huge and huge and huge and huge. Because why? God looks at this guy and says, hey, this guy now has a responsibility. Mm -hmm. He's now right. a father. Yes. He's now a husband. Yes. He has things to take care of. So, so, so granting him a job that pays him this month, granting him a contract that's worth this, it's not enough. Mm -hmm. Surely he deserves more. And I can testify, I have seen that upward trend. Mm -hmm. And I like to believe it's because what the Bible says there that he who finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor. Bible cannot lie. I, I, I'm, I'm speaking, I'm just giving you my practical examples, how I have obtained favor since I met Ruth, how things have changed. So it's not, it's not something that you can, um, it's, it's people just preach about. Hmm. It's something that is practical that personally I have seen happening in my life. Right. Hmm. Hmm. Now it says here, every love story is beautiful but ours is my favorite. Now with marriage, let your marriage be the best love story. Let it be the most favorite love story of your life. You know, some people sadly get married wanting, having intentions. Maybe they are miserable people as, as, as single. And All then right. they want to enter this institution looking mm. for someone mm. to make up for the misery that mm. they've felt their entire lives. Mm. So they enter this institution miserable as they are mm. seeking and having expectations from this husband or this wife yeah. saying he will bring that happiness. He will revive mm. my the, 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 the lost life mm. that I never had. Mm. That, that is actually... I, I, I would say it's a sin, actually, mm, mm. to expect another child mm. <laughs> to, to bring mm. what you could not bring to yourself. I believe making um, this story joyful mm. needs two individuals to enter joyfully. Mm. Joy plus joy mm. equals double joy. That's, that's how I Hallelujah. take it. So if you enter with your misery and you see this joyful potential, um, uh, <laughs> you see this joyful potential, that's, that's now joyful individual plus misery. It equals half joy exactly. and exactly. half misery. And that <clears throat> misery can overtake that joy, exactly. causing, 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 causing the marriage to actually become miserable. And you start thinking, why am I with this person? Because of all the expectations, you want this person to be the father, the absent father that was never in your life. Mm. You want this person to be that, that boyfriend that had you, or the, the boyfriend that ended up marrying someone else. And it's not going to work. You need to be joyful alone and then Holy meet goodness. another joyful person yeah. and share this joy together. Yeah. So yeah. every love story is beautiful, but, but ours is indeed my whatever. favorite, Mr. V. Yeah. No, I, I was just thinking now that when you were saying, um, looking at this quotation, mm. it says, every love story is beautiful, mm. but ours is my favorite. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm just thinking now for people that are watching, Mm. You know, and um, probably those that are married, they might think that uh, we must be like this numerous hey. or hey. we must do what this numerous oh. do, you know, or we must replica what the Obamas, Obamas do. are doing. Oh my Look, God. guys, it's good to be inspired, mm -hmm. right? Inspiration, no problem with it. So, it becomes a problem when you want to imitate, mm. when you want to copy and mm. try to be what that couple, mm. right? Write your own love story. story. Amen. Right? Amen. Write your own love story. Let it be your favorite. True. You can get inspiration from, from other couples, mm. how they are doing. That's good. But 
yours has to be a unique love story. That's why mm. the, the, the saying is there for saying every love story is beautiful, True. but yours has to be your favorite. True. Don't try and imitate the Zinuma's love story. It won't because, work. It might not work because yeah. he's not Valentine and she's not Ruth. Exactly. So create your own favorite love story. You know, it reminds me of um, uh, an illustration that I was given, actually a, a, a little example that I was given by an elderly woman in, at my bridal shower just before we got married. She explained um, how this woman, this wife was so miserable you know, she, she was so miserable. She had so many complaints about her husband. He's not doing this. He's not doing that. So she decided, let me tell my friend. Let me share this, this, this misery that I'm in. Mm. This man is not doing this. She went, she told her friend, he's not doing this. He's not doing that. I'm so miserable. I, he, he, he doesn't look happy. He, he's not making me happy. And the friend said, ah, my friend. The friend had also been married for many years. She said, ah, my friend, you know the thing that works. If your man is, is, is not making you happy, just cook him up and, uh, and, and milk, sour milk. Sadza for in Shona. Just cook him pap and milk. He will love you. He will be so excited. And he comes home and he sees that pap and, 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 and sour milk. You will make him the happiest man and he will enjoy his entire week with him. Mm -hmm. So she went home and she said, Ha, if it's working for my friend who has been married for 10 years, let me try it. Mm. She cooked the pap. She cooked the, she prepared the sour milk. She left it there on the table. He arrives. And the husband was lacto intolerant. Sure. It works for the Nguenyas. Mr. Nguenya enjoys his pap and milk when the exactly. woman prepares it. Hmm. He is above hmm. above the moon and he will do anything hmm. for Mrs. Nguenya. When, By the way, I but like, it does I not like work. So it works. So you, you can you know the conclusion of that story. Hmm. So what works for the Nguenyas? Hmm. Do not bring it home and say, hi, Mr. V, why can't you behave like Mr. Nguenya? Hmm. Create your Mr. own Gwenya. love story mm. and let it be your favorite. Exactly. Yeah. That's why even Ellen White says um, during courtship, it's, it's, it's not a crime. It's not bad for you mm. to actually um, end an engagement. Mm. If there's something, it, there's a red flag or there's something you realize is not right and mm. will not sit with you well in the marriage institution, end it. Yeah. Make haste slowly. Take your time in mm. choosing. Mm. Mm. So let it be a... Favorite love, love story. story. Now, okay, let's get to the business of the day. Um, we were just laying the ground. So we are slowly getting into the, you know, uh, uh, we are preparing. So now we want you guys to understand who we are, who are these guys. So today we'll be sharing a lot of personal information about ourselves and um, uh, because that's what has that's made what, our yes, marriage yes. joyful. So we we are, we are laying our lives bare, uh, not all of it, but yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so yeah. we'll start off with who is Ruth and who is Valentine. So who is Valentine? Let me introduce Valentine to you. Valentine is the last born of seven children. All right, he's the last born of seven children. He was raised by both his parents. Who remained married for the duration of their lives. Unfortunately, um, we lost our mother um, last year. Actually, tomorrow will be the yeah. one year anniversary of when our mother left. But the parents remained married for over 50 years. Yeah. So he had a nice example um, growing up to, to, to well, a nice till death uh, do us part example. Mm. Um, Valentine enjoys preaching. Um, that's one of the reasons I got attracted to him. Mm. Um, he enjoys preaching mm. and he is a devoted man, you fan. I'm sure all of you from mm. Golden Harvest family and yep. Kempton Park mm. know that he loves his soccer, mm -hmm. um, not more than me, mm -hmm. but he loves soccer. He follows the menu um, team mm -hmm. and he, I think his favorite player is Rashford or if I'm not mistaken. Mm -hmm. um, Valentine um, also enjoys, um, some of his hobbies are traveling. Mm -hmm. uh, that's one hobby that we share. He loves traveling to different cities, different provinces, countries, continents. He likes it to any day, wake him up, love, let's go there. If, if funds permit, he will do it open-heartedly. So that's one of, and he loves road trips. We can take long drives together. That's 
I also enjoy that. I don't mind sleeping in a car and just driving to Norway. So that's one of his hobbies. We, especially Cape Town, he likes yes. that, that, that road. Via Kimberley. Yeah. That straight road. Yay. Yeah. I, I won't talk about the speed, but <laughs> yeah, he enjoys uh, long road trips. Um, Valentine has a, has a degree in accounting. Um, he's an entrepreneur. He enjoys <laughs> he enjoys uh, doing so much uh, business ventures and so on. He's an active um, member of Golden Harvest Church. He's taken up a few roles there. One that I enjoyed was family life and so on. Um, he's nicknamed by uh, some of his close friends um, is Fireman. Okay, uh, I actually <laughs> like it too. Um, Fireman and the friends also ended up calling me Firewoman. Um, at church, he's known as by the youth, Mr. V. I actually prefer that one. <laughs> um, Mr. V is what they call him. Um, and did I leave anything out? Oh, one thing I really love about this man. He is a man of his word. If Valentine says something, you know it will be done. I, I, I can actually, uh, looking back to even before we got married, um, in year 2000, and he was actually my first uh, boyfriend that I ever dated as an adult. Um, and one thing he said to me before we really, really started dating in 2008, he said to me um, a few months into our friendship, he said, I'm going to marry you. Yep. He said that and look at us now. So yep. he's a man of his word. Um, he has said many other things during this marriage and they, the, everything has happened. So yeah. that's what I love about him. He's a man of his word. And I, if, one, if, if people know me, those that are close to me, they know I'm, I'm a person that loves laughing. Okay. Uh, high school days, I was like one of the loudest laughers uh, screaming and laughing so I love people I love associating with people that have a sense of humor Valentine has that sense of humor he sees even when I'm paranoid as his wife sometimes when I would be paranoid he sees the brighter side of everything he'll make a joke when we're in the darkest type of uh, dark dark times he'll make a joke and say hey what not and that's what I also do and he takes that quite well so yeah that's Mr. Valentine, I hope I didn't leave anything out, but that's, ah, that's Mr. That's V. That's enough for them to know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, so who's Ruth? Um, well, Ruth is uh, the eldest child in a family of two. So he's, she's the eldest. I'm the youngest. So And yeah. it's been interesting. Yeah, 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 <laughs> yeah. You can take your guess. Um, and uh, it's her and her. Uh, little sister, she's got a beautiful young sister, by the way. Um, yeah. <laughs> mm. So uh, Ruth attended um, school at Waverly Girls High and um, went uh, to do um, uh, her tertiary education at WITS and then at UNISA. Um, she is a qualified master guide. For those who don't know what master guide is, is, uh, is the highest office for uh, the, 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 the youth. So she, 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 she's actually, uh, we have done, we've, we've been to Pathfinder camps together. Yeah. We've been to survival camps. Mm. And uh, we, we have always loved working with young people mm. she has always loved working with young people part of the reason why we enjoy so she's she 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 she, she loves working in the in the house of the lord and what and she supports the work of the lord which is which is indeed a blessing and um what else what else do you want to know about my wife well she is all oh, very important so she i'm actually the spender mm in this relationship if you didn't know and she's the one who says ah, we must calm down on this we must cut this we must so i'm actually the spender now she's she's a lawyer by profession i'm an accountant by profession one would have assumed that i will be the one who is stricter with money but mm. she's the one who actually is stricter with money in 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 our marriage so it's a good thing it's a good thing trust me it's a good thing to 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 do that because i can imagine if uh, it was the other way around so 
I'm the spender and um, she's, she's, she's more into investing and saving. And uh, yeah, we, we, we like having fun, mm -hmm. both of us, mm -hmm. like you've said, we are that adventurous and we always try to find fun in almost everything that we are, you know, whatever we might be going through. So that's just a summary of who we are. Mm -hmm. I mean, if we start to explain all of, we won't finish the And I must say, these, these opposites, him being the first, uh, last born, I being the first born, all these kind have complemented, we've complemented each other. True, They've worked true, for us. True, true. Um, and, and yeah, maybe we'll touch on it uh, mm. soon. Mm. So that, that, that was Ruth and Valentine, mm. right? So now who are we now, right? Who are we now? Which is the crux of the lesson. Who are we now? Mm. We are... We are Ruva. So most people think that Ruva is, our child, by the way, is called Eliana Ruva Rashe. So most people think that Ruva is shortcut for Ruva Rashe, our, 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 our daughter. But Ruva actually means uh, Ruth and Valentine. Valentine. So, so it actually started way before, um, the, we, we, before getting, uh, what, having our firstborn. Mm. Uh, the name started before the our wedding even because I remember when we were still preparing for the the big day. My dad, mm. uh, my dad, Mr. Mzichwa, mm. actually painted um, mm. for those that came to 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 my to my my parents' place before the wedding. He painted some flower pots and wrote the Ruba mm. as a decoration in front. <laughs> so Ruba started way before, and and yeah, that's us. It's Ruth and Valentine, and the nice thing about it is that it's it's a meaningful name. Um, in Shona, like we said, our firstborn is Ruarashe, meaning God's flower. Correct. So we feel when we are together, we, we are God's flower as well. Mm -hmm. All right. So I want us to watch this video um, um, explaining we are now going into our love journey, how it all started and where we are today. So let's take a listen to watch. I hope it will be audible enough. Is it audible? We match it. Yes, yes, it is. It's audible. Okay, to our beautiful couple, um, I think yeah, your beautiful video is not really coming through quite well. Um, we can't hear, we can see the smiles and the happiness that are sustaining this marriage through the video. The audio of it is still a bit of a tricky situation. So maybe you maybe try and increase the volume from your side. I'll also do the same here. Let's leave it. <laughs> <laughs> Let's leave it. Uh, um, we'll play it. We'll play it one more time. Um, but basically, it's we, all about, it's how, all we about how we met and um, we, 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 we met basically in um, 2008. No, uh, late 2007. Late 2007, yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's been like 14 years since we've known each other. Um, and uh, yeah, you want to share more about <laughs> that? <laughs> okay, so... Um, interesting part about it um is that uh we started talking before even meeting in person so he was based in cape town i was based here in Joburg, and we would share a lot of talks um we were obviously from the same uh, belief system so we would share a lot of uh, we would do a bit of bible study um and we would do a bit of um what academia he would, would we, we, we would just share what he's studying and we'd encourage each other 
Um, and uh, he finally got, uh, I think, a job post or was it school? No, nah, it was some work, some yeah. small work. Yeah, <laughs> where he had to be posted in Joburg. So he mm. gave me the news that, hey, I'm relocating. Mm. I'm relocating to Johannesburg, Kempton Park and hoping to see you. So that was in 2008 when we finally got to meet. Um, I actually invited him to a party of mine. I won't say how old I was turning because you'll calculate my age. So, but I, I had invited him to a party and uh, he couldn't make it though. He only arrived, I think in Joburg later that, that, that year. Um, so these are actually some screenshots of, <laughs> We, we communicated a lot via email. So there was no WhatsApp uh, back then. Uh, so there was a was lot of mix emails. It days. Yeah, it was mix it days. So we'd use mix it to, to, to communicate. Oh. Uh, and uh, she, would, she, would, she, would, she would go to, 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 to the, the school, lab school lab to get these emails. So that she can send <laughs> uh, emails. And uh, you can see there the dates, 2000. This was one. This was 2008, October. October. October yeah. Mm. And uh, what, that was what? One of my punchlines. Right? Yeah, I actually <laughs> liked this one. Um, uh, uh, he titled it Just for the Pleasure of a Moment with You. Uh, it says, I have liked many, but loved very few. Yet no one has been as sweet as you. I would stand and wait in the world's longest queue just for the pleasure of a moment with you. Mm. So, so I, yeah, I did have <laughs> yeah, yeah, so. Did have so yeah, so this, I mean, our journey has yeah started way back then, and um, it is still a love story. We are still writing, writing yeah, even today in 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 twenty twenty one. Um, I remember we would desperately those days five rand yo, five rand airtime yo, go a long way it was even two rand yes 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 mm. i remember the two rand airtime as mm. well um yes man we've come we've come from afar we come yeah, far yeah. and those that were at vets probably you know this shop called by the matrix it was called um karanichas oh yes yay yes, 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 yes. <laughs> you know as broke students yes. we we he would come uh, he also had a course that he was doing at vets mm. so he would come with yeah seven rand yeah, would seven buy rand. your yeah. briyani and uh, a very nice feeling meal mm. We'd put our coins together and that's we what buy. we'd eat for lunch. That, that was the date, hey. actually. That was the date. <laughs> Those days we have money, then we can afford to go to Wimpy. Mm. So it has always been open, mm. you know. Mm. It has always been. And this is what I tell um, uh, young people there, that just be who you are. Be yourself. Just be yourself mm. and let let your... You don't have to force yourself to say, I'm going to signature. Mm. You can't afford signature, mm. right? I could afford Karanicha. That, that's what and I that's, could afford. And, and those we're were both the happy. Best dates, yeah. yeah, we're both happy that we could go to our Karanicha, have our Karanicha meals. Mm. We go home, we, we are happy. If that day we have some money, we go to, what's that name of that park? We would actually have, hell, this is how romantic this guy was already back then. <laughs> there was a park called... Uh, Bears Valley yes, Park. Yes, Bears Valley. Um, just close on your way to Eastgate. So this park, it's, an, it's a very nice open park. We'd just go there. We'd actually go to ShopRite because mm. I lived close to ShopRite. Mm. Uh, and we'd buy whatever. We'd buy ShopRite yeah, we had no picnic basket, get, but that was okay. Them in our plastic Plastics bags and we walk. To go and sit in mm. the park. There chats. was no Uber back then. Yeah. I don't even think we'd afford we would, the Uber. Yeah. We'd walk all the way to, to Best Valley Park, yeah. sit down, no bl picnic blanket, obvious, mm. and we'd just sit there and eat enjoy our snacks moment. and enjoy the moment. You know, with the little that we have, we always mm. try to... So being romantic is not about money. Money. Mm. It's what what do I have now? Mm. Even you know? even today, you mm. know, um, I think we we cher we share we we cherish um such moments where at times we just say, love, let's let's get a, a little in blanket Karanicha. and sit. <laughs> oh, Karanichas, yes. Went to Karanicha. When was it? Was last, last year. Last yeah. year, sometime. Just 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 to go and have that experience. Yes, right and even now, at mm. times uh, mm. when we just sit here on a Sunday, I say, love, let's take a blanket and just. Sit do what we used to do lawn. and sit and act as if it's it's, it's best valley park and just <laughs> reminisce on, on on past days 
you don't need money to be romantic. That's the message. So yeah, joyful marriage takes, it's the little things the that little count. Things. Mm. So we've, we've just shared you some of the background story and before we were married mm. and that background transit into us now being, being married. married and what makes this marriage joyful mm. i think that's 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 what we want we want to get into the particular goals that mm. we we have mm. we have set and we we, we want to to go to in share these, mm. and, and and share this with you so the first thing for any marriage mm. is mm. spiritual goals going back to the foundation correct Correct. Which is God. Correct. God created the institution. Mm. So obvious, if he created it, mm. joy will come from him. Mm. So mm. spiritual, that's where we base our marriage. Mm. We met in the church. We mm. met knowing that we are both mm. believers of the church. So, yeah. yeah. And, 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 and what we have learned and what we, we have seen that for any marriage to stand, mm. prayer. Amen. So, so, pray we we pray as a family mm -hmm. right we have with family time where we pray with the children right in the morning we have prayer time as well before mm -hmm. we all go out to our different places mm -hmm. but that's not enough True. we 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 always say to each other that pray for me i'll pray for you mm -hmm. every day we always make it a point that we pray for our marriage and let's face it guys the, the institution is under attack mm. and you can't run away from that. Mm. And even our marriage is not safe. Mm. So hence, we always go back to the cry room mm. and ask God to keep us, okay. sustain us and protect us. Mm. So if there's one weapon that we know that we can uh, uh, utilize mm. in the battlefield, it is prayer. It Have is. constant communication with God. Mm. Don't just say pray, pray. What? Mm -hmm. Uh, uh. Pray. A, a deep, meaningful prayer, and that that kind of bond where you pray for your partner, mm. and you will see, mm. you will see what it can do. True. Yeah. True. Mm. Seek first the kingdom of God, and the, and and His That's righteousness, and mm. all these things will be added to you. We can testify, mm. like we said, pray, pray, and pray. Seek God first mm. before your marriage. Seek mm. God first mm. before even courtship. Before mm. choosing who to date and who mm. not to date, mm. seek God first, mm. and all these things shall be added. A joyful marriage does not just come; mm. it comes from praying and seeking God mm. to guide you into the institution. Allow him, allow him. He must get involved. Even when you are engaged or you mm. are coaching, mm. let him get uh, involved True. in that union. And it's a beautiful promise. It is. Because God says all these things will be added unto you. Not some. Yeah. All, all of them. Mm. Be it money, be it jobs, be it whatever. Mm. First of all, invite God into the institution. Amen. And see what the God... And you can even go and pray mm. and say, but God, look, I we have, all yes, why, right why haven't you come to, to our rescue? Your mm. word says this, mm. you know? Mm. So prayer, prayer. Mm. And because of that, Amen. we, we are, are confident, confident that he hears us whenever we ask for anything that pleases him. Amen. Mm. Amen. Anything mm. that pleases him, he will answer. Mm. Another aspect to it is Bible study. And uh, we, you know, the, at the time, um, we normally have uh, family Bible studies mm. Fridays and uh, during the week on Wednesdays, uh, depending how the ch if there's any non church programs. So I used to have this habit that I'll, I'll wake up, I normally wake up first. Right, I'm, mm. I'm normally the person that wakes up, so I, I can't help it. Uh, four o'clock, I'm up, and um, I'm either trying to plan and see how the day is going to, uh, to to go, mm -hmm. and uh, what can make money today. What can we do? So four o'clock, I'm up, and the times I'm doing also a Bible study. 
So my wife then asked me the other day, why then do you do a Bible study on your own? I'm like, that's my personal Bible study, mm. you know? And then we had this debate until I realized that, no, man, actually, whenever I get an opportunity, let me study, study the word of God together. True. And you'll see how many things that can start get opened up mm. and, you know, because of the union. True. Of course, you can have your own personal study, nothing wrong with that, but always make it a point. Have some time, you study the word of God together. We even find ourselves, since he's a preacher, man, find ourselves building up a sermon together exactly. that he will preach exactly. because of doing that Bible study together. Mm. Mm. Still on the spiritual goals, the we cannot underestimate the role of the church, church. plays in our marriage. True. Uh, the church has played a very, very important role in our marriage. I'm sure from the time we met to where we are today. Indeed. Uh, we cannot underestimate what the church has done and is doing. Mm. And, as, and as we have shared that, um, we 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 have the same belief, belief system. system you know yeah like we shared earlier we, we 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 were both into master guides we would meet at some of the master guide uh, camps because we we're from the same conference at the time um so having that same belief system i testify having that same spiritual um foundation has made it so much easy for our, for our marriage life you know even the the, the raising the kids knowing that we are on the same uh, spiritual level, maybe not exactly the same, but, but having that same foundation has made it so easy to raise these children and also in our marriage together. We, 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 we can always look at each other if someone's doing something wrong. Hey, mm -hmm. remember this, what, what, what? We, we, we know encourage how to other. encourage one another mm -hmm. and motivate each other spiritually. You know, um, it, it's good to be, the Bible says what unequally yoked, and stuff but do you know be do not be unequally yoked, yoked. Yeah. you know um you can be for, from the same adventist church right mm. and 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 you think that you 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 are aligned your your beliefs are aligned but trust me not everyone in the church mm. um, um um is on your level spiritually mm. Correct. so being on the same level as a couple is very important mm. because now you've yeah. got unity in mm. how to raise the children. Mm. There's unity in how we run the marriage together. Mm. So that to me has, has made this marriage joyful. Mm. It's, it's made it so much easier. Mm. In other words, you can be unequally yoked even with an Adventist. Mm. So, so, so one has to pray for wisdom mm. in that aspect if you are one person who is still... Um, but of course, for me, the fundamentals, the foundation... Let it be someone, and it's very important, guys. There are issues that have to do, we'll speak about finance in, in a few slides. Um, tithing, for instance, you know, you can still be Adventist mm. and the other person does not believe in tithing. Mm. You are already setting up uh, a problem, True. you know, and uh, I, can, I can go on and, yeah. and, and list. Because you'll be in this home where mm. finance plays a, a big role in marriage also. Mm. Now you're in this home where one Adventist believes strongly in tithe and, mm. and returning to God mm. um, what belongs to him. And, and the other really is a bit reluctant and saying, look, if I want to buy a car this month, I'm not mm. tithing. Mm. Come on, babe, let's not do that. Mm. So you really need to ensure during your courtship um, mm. season, ensure that you are aligned in all these um, uh, be, um, spiritual beliefs and so on. Mm. And um, commitment. Commitment. Um, commitment to God. And commitment to each other. Mm. I think mm. we 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 once went to a couples retreat yeah. with uh, Pastor Papu mm. in 2016. Yeah, and then he he posed the question to the couples that were there to say, "What keeps up a marriage?" Mm. And we we're all like, "Love, love, uh, money, what not, uh, trust, trust, <laughs> and all these beautiful words you can think of." And then he ended up by saying, "It's not all of these things." Mm. It's mm -hmm. commitment. Mm -hmm. Because what commitment does is when she wakes up, mm. right? She wakes up with the hair not done. <laughs> you know, she probably has snorts in her nose. I go. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and uh, probably we have, uh, we have a toilet and then she makes something that 
just closes the whole house which doesn't happen yeah, yeah. i'm just i'm just sharing uh, some of the yeah secrets that you guys didn't know but you still come back to this person yeah it's a right? commitment i'm just yeah in spite of their faults yeah. right in spite of i've made a commitment to be with this person you know and 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 god forbid whatever thing that might still come that thing rings in your mind and you say no lord i have made a commitment mm. before you mm. and that commitment is ruth amen you know so it's 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 a very important um we could go on and and, and talk yeah. about it commitment but... says even no matter what mm. i am staying mm. all right commitment mm. says i want to mm. make him happy mm. i will be the best wife mm. to him and mm. it works on you mm. commitment is is, is it's not about your the decision. other person yeah. it's about i don't you. wake up and say yeah. valentine doesn't look committed yeah. today yeah. Huh. yeah it's about me yes. and while while we do that you know as couples mm. i think we learned this also at, at one of our counseling sessions mm. if you consider concentrate on you as a wife mm. and saying look what is can valentine's ideal wife mm. how can i be the best wife to valentine mm. and i concentrate on that daily mm. your marriage will become so and if valentine does the same mm. he concentrates on him as a man as 100%. a husband as a father all the roles that he takes mm. and says what can i do to mm. make ruth happy what can i do 100%. to make valentine happy mm. today mm. And you make it a daily routine. Mm. Trust me, Mm. your days will, I I can testify, Mm. your days will flow and your marriage will be joyful. So commitment says no matter what, Mm. I am staying Mm. and I'm joyfully doing so. One of the things that the church is good at it is premarital and postmarital excellent mm. um before we got married uh, uh, i think we started our counseling sometime in february mm. we would go on to get married in december there mm. so we did our premarital counseling i for think almost, we, we didn't even have a date we didn't for have our a date wedding, yes when correct, we started when we started and it was mm. with pastor really yes, howard so yes yes because I, I, I remember just, him asking when is your no, date and, and we didn't have yeah we were just now engaged, mm. too. but we were not yet. We we're not even decided. Not even this. Lobola was yeah, done at that yeah. time. Mm. But we said, let's go for what for premarital and understand. This and the guy special. would prepare for us. Yay! He would prepare. We would, shout we would, out to Pastor Rousseau. Yeah, shout out to him. <laughs> shout out to him, Pastor Rousseau. You are the best. <laughs> yeah, you would like go all out when we get there. Food the the is there, table is set and and, and the books are set. set. Wow. 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 And the wow. sessions were so enjoyable and, and they were raw. You he know, you know how funny how is. he's a funny guy. Yes. He always makes jokes. And, mm. but we enjoyed during those years of premarital. We went step by step, all mm. these topics that you can think of. Mm. He went one by one with us. Sometimes we'd spend a week on one topic. On one topic, mm. exactly. Mm. And one topic. So, um best cancel best cancel we have had and, and it did not stop there even now when we're married i think last year yeah. he came he says no guys i need to check i on need you. to check on you let's have uh, that post-marital mm. counseling and even, we do it year by year yeah. he visits us we visit him mm. most people this, think that counseling you only go on counseling mm. because you have problems Mm-mm. no you don't go on counseling because you have problems no, you no. go on counseling because you just want to hear what other uh, person has to qualified person has to say yes. on a particular subject mm. so you don't wait for a mm. for a for a for a problem to okay in your marriage and then you say oh, we now need we need counseling mm. ah. so this is one of the important things that yeah. the church has Does been actively. doing and 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 on that you you need to also you you can't just sit back and and say church must come to us they can see that we are sitting together sia tandana or whatever or sia jola mm. they must now think and approach us and mm. say look you guys need premarital counseling it has to come from you mm. you need to be willing mm. all right and and marriage is a lifetime um um, um, um decision True. even if you divorce mm. it will affect you forever so True. marriage is a, it's a covenant mm. so if i forgot what i wanted to say okay. but yeah <laughs> They get it. They get it. It's okay. So you need to make, yeah, it came back. You need to remember, you need to ensure that uh, you take the first step as a couple. All right. I always discourage just dating. Where you ask a young person, are you guys 
do you plan on getting married? No, we are just dating. I discourage that strongly. Mm. All right. Rather date and have a plan mm. and, and then discuss mm. and, and maybe attend these counseling sessions just for fun at times, mm. just to know what us mm. uh, being together, dating mm. uh, uh, can mean in the long run. Mm. And at times you can just pick any couple that mm. you would want and just say, yes. ah, guys, um, we just, we need, just guidance. need guidance on this. Mm -hmm. Any couple in the church that mm. you feel. Uh, the other thing is supporting each other in our religious leadership roles. I think we touched on this, you know, it's always uh, difficult at times. And um, yeah, uh, especially this year for me, yeah, this <laughs> year older. has been one of those trying to juggle uh, the church and uh, family, life. family life, work wise. Mm. Uh, we have learned in the process. Mm. We have learned, mm. and um, it's not an easy thing. Um, but uh, God has been giving us strength, mm. and we've been, and she has been supporting me. I must say, she has been supporting me. At first, when they said, Hey, you must become a head elder. Well, she didn't want. She says, no, we are still a young couple and we end up like, you know, those elders. Become <laughs> serious. Become too serious. And, you know, they don't want to be, you know, I'm a held elder. So, hey, man, I can't be seen uh, so, posting this or that. <laughs> and what we have always said is, is, no, this is who I am. Mm. And if, yeah. if the church is, has seen this need to be fit, to lead them let's not change let's not change mm. it's god's appointment and True. i want to must testify my wife has been very supportive and mm. uh, i thank god for for for, for her for for such mm. i think there was also a time where we were you were a youth leader mm. and uh, <laughs> i think at one point i actually felt like i'm the youth leader also like we are both youth leaders mm. the way we were yes, in it together yes. planning and, and, planning yeah, and yeah. yeah so yeah. That's yeah. how much of support you need to give each other yeah. in, in the religious roles. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. It also brings you closer to Christ because you're working together in the vineyard. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Um, the other role the church plays is uh, the issue of retreats and uh, marriage seminars. Mm. Very, uh, the church is very good in that. We, and the conference and the general conference. We can't underestimate mm. this uh, because that's where you learn, you get your marriage revived. Mm -hmm. I remember when we were family life leaders, uh, we even planned a, a, a singles retreat yeah. even oh, for, yes. for, for the singles, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and um, you get revived and we, we want to encourage you to take part in these retreats. Oh, if you are married a lot. and yeah. you have not been taking part, please. Take part. If your church is not organizing, the conference organizes yeah. this, yeah. you know, and uh, take part. Mm. You go there, you learn, mm. you come there, you are revived. True. You know, it's like yeah. a camp meeting. And, yeah. And I, I must say, we, we've been to... I think that, that was one of the few things that excited me about marriage. Mm. It's going for a couple's a retreat. Church. I would always see the posters around church and think, oh, okay, when one day. Gonna, yeah. So day? it's it's very, there's so much fun. Yes, you can take your wife or husband out on a little uh, getaway, but going as as, 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 a as a church with elderly couples, mm. with the other young fellow couples, mm. it's, you learn so much from each other mm. and 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 from the, the presenters that are mm. appointed. Mm. So I, I strongly encourage you to... To, to consider part. it for well, those couples i've heard some couples that are so negative towards these retreats but uh, i'm gonna take this opportunity to say guys when we went for our first one we were like first one was in uh, george george yes. with with uh with uh, pastor papu pastor papu this was the pastor papu yeah, one that was the pastor yeah. so it was our first retreat yes right? and we were like look this is something we've looked forward to in marriage mm -hmm. i was heavily pregnant okay not so heavy but yeah, you were was... heavy because it was in, <laughs> you would be, oh yeah, but you're not yeah. so heavy because you would then have Eliana in January. January yeah. So it was around October, November, yeah. October, November. Yeah. So that was the first one that we went to. And Pastor Papu, that's where he spoke about commitment and so many other things. And we learned just from other elderly couples. I think we shared a room with not a bedroom, <laughs> but an apartment with yeah. another elderly couple. And yeah. we learned a lot. Yeah. 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 And then the following year, we would go to Hazy View. Mm. 
Where, in Kumalana. Uh, yeah, we did some oh, yes. cooking competition. Yeah, for the husbands. For they the had husbands. a cook off. Yeah, so this is what this was my team uh, uh, that I was with. Uh, nice. We won, I think. Yeah, you did. Yeah. And and you know the nice thing about that, you know, while the husbands were doing that uh cook off. They spoke as men. It gave mm. them that that ammo time mm. to talk. Other elderly husbands, probably. Mm. I wasn't Share there, it. but he told me that he got some good advice, good advice from elderly yeah. uh, married men. Mm. And also on the side, as mm. the wives were waiting for this uh, dinner to be prepared, mm. we were talking and mm. getting beautiful advice from, from other uh, married women that were joyful in their marriage. We would go on as young couples. I think those are the young couples. Yes, those, those are the young ones. <laughs> and uh, candlers. So we, we, that was still in hazy view. view. Yeah. The following year, we went to Drakensberg. I think it was Pastor Masibuko. Oh, that was beautiful. The nice thing with this one is we invited uh, a non-Adventist Adventist. couple. Mm. And when they attended, the, the, the guy was actually shocked. He was like, ha, huh, so a pastor can actually speak, speak about, openly about, about sex. sex. <laughs> yeah. And he, he really, he enjoyed it. And to this day, they, they still partake. Yeah, they're still in, part, they're, yeah. Uh, doing... Um, uh, taking part, part in, in church, church, church activities. activities and i believe they will get baptized yeah, yeah very yeah. soon yeah. um so it's a it's it's a it's evangelism on yeah, its own, on its also. own. Mm. i think the following year would go to namibia that's when we were actually family we were nominated as family life leaders together with the shout Mlanjan. out to the Mlanjanas. <laughs> we went so well together with the Mlanjanas. uh we went to namibia for the couple's retreat and you can see the heart, guys. Mm. Ah, it was levels. It was levels. Lovely. And you know, one thing I love about our church, mm. someone, some couple might be sitting there saying, I, Tina, we don't have money for such things. Mm. Guys, the church sponsors. Mm. The church sponsors. They were, I mean, yeah. we go, growing up when yeah. we go to your find youth like, camp, yeah. it, it will be just an open book. Anyone who wants to go, who we'll go, mm. you know, mm. and 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 I've seen there is this unity in 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 church when it comes to this true, activity. True. So money can never be an excuse. Never for you to not revive to, your to marriage. Revive your marriage. Mm. We are there for each other. Remember, the devil is out to get this institution. So we we like running around and ensuring that anything spiritual that mm. comes our way to revive mm. this institution, we're taking with both hands. Mm. Yeah, we're taking with both hands. So. Please, couples that do not believe in couples retreats, I am urging you, just try one. There's yeah, one cool. coming this year. Oh, there's... So 2020, Corona oh. happened. Yeah, so there was so, no retreat. Yeah, but uh, the Corona of the stomach, <laughs> so all those things, you know, it was just Corona, Corona everywhere. Yeah. So there was no retreat. But 2021, we are looking forward. There's one coming. There's one coming. And uh, I think it's going to be in the wild coast. Mm. And, and we want to make this pledge. Mm. Uh, um, if there's a couple that has never attended a couple's retreat. And that is ne maybe negative towards it. Yes. Or doesn't believe it's of any use to their marriage. Yes. Please inbox us. We mm. just want one. 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 one book sponsor one for this one coming. Just one couple. It's later married. this year. I'm talking about the married one. Married couples only. <laughs> okay, Ashley, if you're getting married tomorrow, <laughs> it's fine. We can sponsor you. So, yeah, are we willing to do that? I yeah, I, yeah, I, yeah. I take on that pledge. Yeah. yeah. But, yeah, that's yeah. good. Yeah. All right. So that was it on the spiritual, spiritual goals. And then we want to speak about the family unit, the mm. family, the family goals. And... Um, this has to do with everyone now involved, including time, mm. giving each other time with mm. spouses. Mm. Very, very important. You know, you cannot underestimate yes. the issue of giving each other, other time. time. So true. I think we even touched on this at one of the couples retreats, Pastor Mazibugo touched on it uh, at the at the yes, yes, camp. Correct, correct. the importance of giving each other time we're living in a time where technology is taking over there's whatsapp there's facetime there's whatnot mm. and and people are no longer into that physical mm. uh, communication that mm. eye contact is quite rare you can be 
you can have a best friend mm. and never see each other in a year and be mm. comfortable because you're communicating so much. So mm. that can actually take over your marriage. You mm. can get so used to cyber communication mm. and forget that, hey, I need to look into his eyes. Yeah. It's intimacy. So we always have this practice that every time coming from, well, when she comes, she has to share all her stories. <laughs> You know, then I would just be listening and hearing. But we always have this time, okay? Uh, how was your day? What mm. not? You, you know, just have that time just to reflect. Mm. You know, phones aside, phones when aside. it's time to eat, we are all at one, at table, one table, looking at each, each other. other. The children are there too. Mm. Even the baby, he's no. a few months or I'm old, but mm. um, we, we, we practice that already with mm. him. Eye contact is mm. very important. Mm. It's a form of of, of showing love mm. in action. Mm. So, mm. yeah, that's very important. Mm. Your your bedroom gossip, we're still on time. Pillow talk. Pillow okay. talk, as they call it, yeah. <laughs> and cuddle sessions. Very mm. important. You'll be surprised that some of the ideas that and solutions you come up with. Pillow talk. talk. Exactly. Solution. Oh. Yeah. Spoons <laughs> aside, you discuss a <laughs> business proposal and tomorrow we, we're starting working yeah. on something yeah. that yeah. will be the solution to a, yeah. a previous problem. Yeah. So really, yeah. it's, it's, you need that time. Yeah. Make time, even yeah. in courtship, make mm. time to see each other in person. Mm. Take her out, take him out. Mm. All right, it's mm. very important that mm. time to get to know each other. We, you know, you'll think that in courtship, let's get to know each other and get married, and that's the end. Mm. I'm still getting to know this guy. Yeah. All right. Mm. There's a lot I, I still learn from him, just like I'm learning a lot from my children. Mm. I still learn a lot from him, and I mm. believe he's learning from me. So All we right. still need to court each other during mm. this 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 marriage. Mm. Um playing with each other mm. and the kids yeah. we're coming to playing with each other just now mm. <laughs> but, it's, <laughs> but so it's very important to give the kids time mm. and at times they are annoying but give them time play <laughs> with them mm. and you know I, just, just yesterday i was just thinking when we went to fetch eliana mm. and then i think we're discussing something very important oh. and then she would interject <laughs> and then say uh, Mama, mama, mama. Listen, listen, listen. And, <laughs> and that time you're thinking, Ish, give the poor child a, a, a chance. Time, a chance. Of course, what we are talking is important, is important uh, but just that effect of saying, okay, we are listening to and you. We all turn back. Yeah, we all listen. turn back. Mm. Okay, what do you have to say? Mm. And guess what? She just says, Mama, I wanted to sleep. Hey, I like sleep. <laughs> yeah. So for them, it's very important to have that time. attention mm. and time to know that my parents mm. are also mm. listening. And and it's me. it's it's interesting, you know, with with with, with Eliana, mm. the, the firstborn. She actually, I don't know where she gets it from, but if I'm for say for example, I'm on my phone and she comes to me, Mama, Mama, and I'm 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 like yeah I'm listening and I carry on on my phone. She actually says you're not listening, Mama. Mm. You're not yeah, listening. Yeah, Look at me. That. So yeah. that time yeah. for just putting everything aside and giving your spouse attention mm. is important if you mm. want a joyful marriage. Mm. That time also for your children. This is not a parenting mm. um, seminar, but with everyone, if yeah. you give someone time, just like you do professionally in court, right. I mean, at your workplace and so on, mm. just like you give those people time when you're in front of a judge, you're looking at them and dealing with them as, 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 and giving them that importance. Do it to your, to your, to your spouse. Come right. home, look at him when he talks right. to you. And right. yeah, it right. works for us. All right. And then we speak about financial and career goals. Which right. adds some joy yeah. too. Uh, how we have been managing money. Money is very important. And uh, we're just going to touch a bit on it mm -hmm. and see how far we can go. So Elder Mashudu had this to say in his book, Unleashing the Marriage Potential, uh, page 115. I don't know if any of you have read that book. She, he says 68% of divorces are rooted on issues related to finance. So finance to us is also very critical in our marriage. Mm. And um, if you don't handle your finances properly, mm. it can lead to one problem after the other. And that's why it's important that you plan your finances together. Like I gave you in the introductory section that I'm more of the spender. She's more of the investor, investor. and serving time. 
So it's very important that you meet each other halfway and how do you manage your, your finances? Um, we, we have this policy to say, if we know we are expecting X amount by the end of the month, mm. we always try to spend that money on paper, paper. Yeah. before the SMS from the bank comes. Yeah, because you so, know uh, what that SMS does to yeah, you. There's no plan. You go crazy <laughs> and you think, ah, oh, I've got all the money in the world. Mm. So we always have a plan already. In other words, budget, mm. right? We always have a plan on paper already to say what we are going to do for this coming month. You know, what is it, our goals mm -hmm. that we have for, the, for what we want to achieve for the year. Every year we set particular targets. Yes. You want to do A, B, C, and D. Mm. In five years, we want to do this and this and this Very and that. Very important. So we then look at our strategy, what we plan to achieve, where we are, uh, where do we need to improve? Mm. Do we need to go for days uh, without having uh, meat? So that we can save because we eat meat, right meat, and yeah. Do we need to do that? Do we need to cut on uh, other issues so that we can achieve our goals? I'm just giving an example. True. And uh, so the issue of money is very important on how you manage it as a couple. Mm. So I think we've been doing fine so far. Yeah. I'm, been, I'm, I'm we've, happy. We've, uh, you are happy with yeah. how we've handled finances yes. so far? Yes. No complaints whatsoever? None whatsoever. Hallelujah. E Hallelujah. Ecclesiastics <laughs> 10 verse 19. <laughs> Ecclesiastics 10 verse 19 says, a fist is made. You say this is one of... Uh, oh, and Ashley likes this. Ah, yeah. yeah, he Every shares it in, in the, the group, GH group. Yeah. Uh, Ecclesiastics 10 verse 19, a fist is made for laughter. Wine mm -hmm. makes... Wine makes life merry, mm. and money is the answer for everything. Yeah, so guys, it's not a sin to make money. It's not as a, a sin. couple. Yeah, make as much much money as possible. Mm -hmm. Make it. You know, God does not discourage anyone from making money. Make it, of course, legal. No, actually, yeah, you're not talking about uh, you know those other back door back stuff. Those things, but God is saying make as much money because man's money answers everything. <laughs> it's the verse. It's not me who has, <laughs> we say, and we'll speak more about this um, um, in our situation how we have tried to open up, to so, open up so that you know, money can be flowing in. Because, mm. you know, we were running away. Like I said, we want to make our marriage joyful. The mm. devil is out to get us. Mm. All right. Mm. So anything that we see mm. can, can, can remove, that can remove that joy. Like mm. there's the, the quotation mm. from my shooter, 68% of divorces mm. are on money. So we want to run away from that and create mm. a, a situation where there's no, there's no room for that. For that. Yeah. yeah. There's no room for that. Divorce is not an mm. option. Yeah transparency in, in finances mm. to make sure that you know this one and i always speak when i speak on finances to yeah. say you know when when you are transparent about your finances mm. you know your wife is has access to if for those without joint accounts right and your wife has access to your accounts has access to 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 what is being spent mm. You know, it's also very difficult for you to be involved in a extra marital, marital. affairs because <laughs> extramarital affairs requires money. Yeah, yeah. So now so I'll see a guest house, okay, uh, guest house. What's going what's on? What's going on? Right. Or dinner? Yeah. What's, what's why what's are you buying dinner on? for that amount? <laughs> well, yeah. You see, so transparency in finances is actually a good thing because it helps both of you you all know what is going you all know in the case where you have separate accounts you mm. all know how much money she is she has mm. in her account mm. what is she spending it mm. on uh, how much money i have in my account what am i spending on? Mm. so as far as our finances are concerned that's why it's even when mm. a person comes to ask for money from me and uh, don't think that she will not know Mm. She will definitely know that fifty rand. She will definitely know, <laughs> you know. <laughs> okay, and yeah, you can continue. So it's very important that, and we try by all means to, to be, be open about 
even the little rant that mm. you can think of mm. to be open about our what our finances and how we mm. how we spend them just to touch on that also the transparency um, aspect don't make it a miserable activity you know that's what I've, I've learned it's not a miserable activity it's a fun activity valentine knowing how much has just come into my account me knowing how much has come into his or our joint account make it an exciting thing don't be uh, start thinking that hey now mm. i can't live my life the way mm. i used to live it when i was single mm. i could just walk into a shop and buy mm. that new shoe or whatnot yeah it's not that he's now tying you down and saying you can't mm. that's now abusive yeah okay yeah. you need to talk and happily decide love there's a shoe i saw at the mm. morning mm. D- discuss and, and probably come up with it and sometimes you do you do have moments where uh, you want to surprise your spouse it's yeah. okay mm. it's mm. okay to mm. then have, deduct yeah. yeah and sometimes you might see a shoe for your your child yeah. it's okay but we're just saying be transparent with 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 with, with, with the majority yeah. of your finance i think that speaks to the issue of communication mm, it does uh, uh, co- communication in finances it's 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 important i think this week we had a debate me and my wife uh, about a certain uh, asset that we wanted to acquire and uh, she brought her side <laughs> why that asset must not be acquired mm. and i brought my side mm. why that asset must be acquired it was a day a long day a, lo- a whole day the whole discussion day. Uh, mm. to say what which way do we follow what mm. do we do mm. why do we need to do this mm. i presented my case you know as an mm. accountant mm. i gave strong arguments mm. And lo and behold, I won the case. At first, the judgment was reserved. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, he eventually won his yeah. case after so, the full so, discussion. So it's those things, you know, as a man, you don't have to, um, I'm just giving an example. Suppose you are the man and you're bringing in money and you think, okay, because I'm the one bringing in money, I can do this whatever. has to go now, <laughs> you know, because no, you when the money is there, it's all of you. Mm. you are taking part in that man so uh, don't feel strongly opinionated because you think that now i'm i'm so whatever i say has to mm. go debate mm. you know mm. that's what we do we debate mm. and we give reasons why such and such a decision yeah. must be made true you know and it's it's made it so much so easy so, so easy, easy for, for us, us and it's you know? brought joy yeah. you know in marriage we stepped into this institution from from the planning of our wedding mm. i think mm. there was no this thing of mm. it's my debt money or, it's his money yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah and and yeah the issue of debt yeah. too we so try and run away try and run away from debt as mm. far as possible you know as far as possible that thing is not right for your marriage run away from it mm. yeah run away from that uh, True. yeah it's, it's, it's unfortunate we're not having a financial discussion but yeah his strong point mm. yeah so yeah um communication very very important, important. not only in finance all right communication in in in, in all aspects of aspects your, yeah of your you marriage. need to communicate yeah. yeah so how have we done it okay uh career wise um okay i'm 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 we versatile like we said we want to run away from poverty so you you you're not going to restrict you're not going to restrict yourself and say hey money. i'm a what what I'm, i cannot be seen uh, yeah. cleaning a swimming pool we run for the money mm. so i'm um, anyway where I, there's money yeah anyway where there's money mm. i did a bit of nursing so and and i've always enjoyed um from high school i also did a course um where i qualified as a peer educator for cancer so i really enjoy attending workshops uh, going out there um educating women about their um health um from cervical cancer the importance of pap smears um breast cancer and and so on and how to clean yourself as a woman um nursing that's what i did um so and always i've always been enjoyed a, it a, a passion mm-hmm. And, uh, and not only that money came in through that that yeah. that channel yeah. um i'm also um, um an admitted attorney um i worked on criminal law most of the time of the um, high court you forgot to mention that you're not just an admitted attorney of actually, the high actually help me <laughs> <laughs> okay so uh uh, yeah admitted attorney of the high court yeah. um yeah i worked mostly on um i worked mostly on criminal cases um 
and your road accident funds and yeah, contract law and so on. So that those are just ways of getting being money, versatile, being versatile and, and not, and not thinking, saying, hey, I'm a lawyer. Yeah. I cannot go and nurse people yeah. in the hospital. I'm yeah. willing to do that. I'm yeah. willing to do that out of passion also and out of money. It's important to have the passion, guys. Yeah. Swim, clean that swimming pool smiling and happy that yeah the yeah. swimming pool that i'm cleaning yeah is bringing bread yeah. to the table that's at, enough at the end of the day no one is going to ask where did uh, this man was from the swimming i can't pool eat this bread i can't eat you know <laughs> it's money now on the table exactly. and everyone is excited exactly so even me myself like i said i'm an accountant a forensic auditor as well i i can tell you for the past few months I'm hardly seated doing that in work. the office. Mm. No, nah. I am the busy elsewhere else mm. trying to have streams of income. He's running for in. money. Nah. <laughs> so, so hence I'm saying, don't be apologetic yeah. about looking for money. God said right? it's okay. It's okay. There's no, it's, it's not a sin, mm. right? As long as you know that you're doing it in in the lord in the lord right right yeah. seek god first remember yeah. so seek i can him. be a farmer mm. you know i can be a farmer, a farmer. Mm. i can be an accountant and sit up with mm. top people mm. and i can be that is that is in zimbabwe mm. you know i was just trying to put some veggies yes even here at and home. it does it so well even yeah. here at home i'm sure most of you have come to fetch veggies yeah. one way or the time we just make it a principle why should we buy veggies when you can actually plant veggies why should you buy tomatoes? If you've got the skill, yeah. cut on yeah. the expenses is, and, and do it. If you exactly. can fix a, a light or a leaking ceiling, yeah. why call a yeah. professional to do it for yeah. you? When, do when it yourself. You can do it. Yeah, you know? save the money and, and yeah. make the money. Yeah, yeah. that's why all. Why not? Mm. So the whole aspect of this boils down to what we term as generational wealth, mm. right? Whereby you want to ensure that... Uh, you leave an inheritance for your children's children. Not just your children, but your children's children's hey, children's children. Fama. You know, that's how other, if you look in the white community specifically, uh, yeah. some of the business that these guys are still running were left by their great, hey. great, great grandfathers. Yeah. And it's a legacy that has continued rolling on. And this is our long time goal. Uh, Proverbs 13, 22, mm. that we must leave an inheritance to our children's children. Mm. Hence why I'm see, saying have multiple streams of income. Very have important. those extra side hustles. Mm. I mean, we... Don't be comfortable that you're working for a prestigious company and, they're giving you a good 50K mm, a month. And you think that's life. No, there's actually more, more. you can do. Mm. I mean, you can find us rearing chickens mm. right mm. we 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 rear chickens now we are even making chicken feet mm. right so it's businesses that are just we are just trying to we get down to, and to, to, in, yeah when it, when it needs us to, to do that let's get down let's go and and make make those about 4000 chickens let's go and make stock feed mm. you know if it gets uh, hectic let's buy and sell fuel Why you not? know be versatile. Be versatile. Be mm. versatile. You know, nothing stops you. Mm. It's little things. Hence, I was saying to you, you would hardly find me in the office. Yeah, literally. Because I am busy we trying are up and down. To, to, to make ends meet, you know. And, and, and it's also all about giving your, your yourself a better life than yeah, you were yeah, born into. Yeah, yeah. All right. Uh, being black, we yes, know. Yes, all right. Yeah. It's, it's not easy. Yeah. Um, we are born into probably yeah. some of us into yeah. poverty yeah. maybe some grew up in a shack yes. or in the rural areas yeah. you want to better your life you, yeah all right and 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 what more what more joy does that bring than bettering your life also as a team yes. having a member a, yes. a teammate to to yeah. better this life yeah all right you do it on your own for a while you get married and now there's someone to compliment Men's that you. that and vision of bettering it's your beautiful life beautiful mm. marriage mm. we also drew balls so hence i'm saying we get dirty Mm. just looking for the benjamin True. <laughs> so that's it for the for the financial uh, uh goals uh -huh. and uh, uh what are our dating goals what is so important to us mm -hmm. as far as dating is concerned mm. so mm. still yeah <laughs> sex is important this is all about the joys of marriage, marriage.
Yeah. Mm. Now speaking to the, to, 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 to the marriage. In Sex marriage. is important. And it must never be used as a tool. <laughs> right? As a weapon. As a weapon. Right, have as much sex as possible. <laughs> so you know, when we were, when we were, <laughs> when we were, oh. when we didn't have kids, you know, we had the whole house. No restrictions. No restrictions. Now there are kids. You know, you'll have those one, two restrictions. You can't go into that room, but um, make it beautiful. It's it's actually nice mm. and. Uh, be unapologetic about it. And, 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 you know, with the previous slides, when we were touching on finance, we said um, the importance in our careers to be versatile, get, in, get dirty, do whatever. Mm. Same applies to sex. Exactly. Be, versatile. be versatile. All right. In your bedroom, you're not a mother. Mm. Um, in your you're bedroom, not you're not a elder. dad. Yeah, you're not a, a head, head elder. elder. All right. Yeah. You're not a, a part-time a director. Well, yeah. you can be a director. Uh, because of the movie Depending scene. on the scene. But <laughs> <laughs> marriage is beautiful and, and, and the sex in marriage is beautiful, knowing that you're doing it legally mm. and, and this mm. is your husband mm. and she's, uh, mm. I'm your wife mm. and your families have all come together mm. to say, it's okay, mm. <laughs> it's okay, have fun. So Her, her parents knowing that, yeah, <laughs> that's the guy with my daughter. <laughs> so we can even go to, 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 to her parents' place and <laughs> not feel bad about it, you know, and they can even come here and we don't feel bad about it. So don't <laughs> be apologetic. Important. It's important. Um, I remember during our pre-marital counseling with Pastor Riso, mm. he always used to say, Ruth, be a tigress <laughs> in your bedroom. Yes, be a tiger, yes, yes, okay? Yes, yes. Uh, so when we felt um, pregnant, I remember passing, uh, bumping into Pastor Riso, and he said, Ruth, you took that advice very serious, I see. <laughs> so, yeah, it's, it's, it's fun. The pastors, uh, Pastor Tumelo is there. Shout out to you. I'm sure you also agree that sex in marriage is okay. But how will it's, he know? How will he know? He's not married. <laughs> He Can preaches it. that that it's okay. <laughs> so <laughs> enough about sex, and uh, uh, we are talking about dating now. We are into the mood of dating. So mm. one of the things that Pastor Rousseau mentioned to us during our premarital was, and on our wedding, on day, our wedding he day, said it also. He says, "Court your wife mm. for the rest of your life." I think every evening he repeated this yeah. line, and yeah. it's only. When we were married, that we realized it began this to is, make sense. It makes a lot of sense. You know, oh. your 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 dating does not stop because oh. she's breastfeeding oh. or oh. she's pregnant oh. or whatever the case, whatever the situation. Oh. You can court your wife for the rest of your life. Mm. You can decide. Ah, today, love, it's been a hectic. I mean, we've been presenting from morning mm. until now. Mm. We're not gonna cook. Let's go to the nearest restaurant and just have some something, you know. I want to take you out. Mm. Caught your wife. Weekends away. Weekends away. Mm. For the rest of your life. Mm. And uh, don't stop. Mm. And always remember that together is a... To, every day. Every day together is a celebration. True, true. Cherish, Cherish each moment. moment. You know, we just got sad news Um about the Fergus and oh, yes, um, yes, uh, yes, Shona yes, yes. passing away. You know, I used to like, if you're on social media, mm. um, I used to like Fame. seeing their pictures yeah. together mm. and and so on. Very beautiful couple. And mm. I cannot, my heart goes mm. out to her and I cannot imagine Fame. what she's going through. You never know. Mm. You might wake up tomorrow being a widow yeah, or a widow. Uh, yeah. So it caught, um, caught your wife and, and cherish these mm. moments every Love day. Them. Love them. Every day. Love your wife. Make every day special, special mm -hmm. together because you don't know. Tomorrow is not guaranteed. Ish, so ish. every second mm -hmm. is, is, I think sometimes for those that are my friends on WhatsApp and stuff, I sometimes just post a picture and say, mm -hmm. every second with mm -hmm. you is mm -hmm. beautiful. Mm -hmm. and, and I mean that mm -hmm. because I, do, I don't know what tomorrow holds. Exactly. So make sure whoever mm -hmm. you've married mm -hmm. is happy, is mm -hmm. comfortable, mm -hmm. and is cherishing your presence. Mm -hmm. Don't make your presence mm -hmm. so unbearable that mm. when you arrive home the children suddenly mm. have to fix a few things the mm. wife has to mm. suddenly do certain things mm. make your presence mm. something that you look forward yes. to you know yes, when he, we, we work a lot together lately and mm. just being apart at times he'll i'll be like no today i'm staying home i'm working from home he sometimes will 
beg, let's go together. Mm. Let's do this together. And mm. when we are apart, I feel it. I miss him. Mm. All right. I'm not mm. saying be on each other's face or mm. um, um bother each other too mm. much, but just cherish, cherish each moment. moment. Yeah. All right. Even when apart, those mm. WhatsApp mm. messages mm. that you send to each other, mm. check in. It's very important. Mm. Yeah. Mm. You know what? Uh, what did Miss Ngwenya say? That oh, time? yeah. And, uh, uh, Mrs. Nguenya is one of the speaker that really inspires us. I remember it was, there was a time we were actually having a little petty fight about something yes, during yes, the day. Yes, yes. And then uh, we met up with Mrs. Nguenya and she said from nowhere, she didn't know that we we're having a little fight. She's like to us, um, she's a widow, by the way. Um, she, she lost her husband, Mr. Nguenya, a few years ago. Um, uh, and she's a motivational speaker within our church. So um, she's based in Zimbabwe. So she said to us from Norway, we were in the car with her. She's like, you know, Ruth and Valentine, if I could just get one minute with mm. my husband, mm. just mm. one minute, mm. how, how it would make me so happy. Mm. Just mm. that one. And mm. that touched us, you know, the fight. We even forgot what we were mm. fighting about. Mm. That night was mm. a night of passion yes. and, <laughs> and yeah. joy. Yeah, so cherish each mm. moment, guys. Mm. And this does not just apply to marriage. But even your every, loved ones. All your, all your loved, loved ones. ones. Cherish every moment. You never loved know. Yeah. You never know. If uh, you wanted to open a business, do so. Yeah. If you want do it. To, yeah. Do, do it. it today. Yeah. If do you it. Wanted to to rectify whatever fights Go. you're having. Rectify Fight. them today. Yeah. Yeah. Ask for forgiveness if today. You have. Mm. Mm. Stop those grudges. Mm. Anyway, um, <laughs> uh, one of the most important things in our dating goals is the birthdays. Oh. You know, we always, yeah, we compete. We always try to outdo <laughs> each other. Her birthday is in March. Mine is in December. So each and every birthday, right? Mm. Um, we always, like, her birthday was, we went to Matopos, Matopos. In, in Zimbabwe for yeah. her birthday. And uh, we always, so now I'm, I can't wait to see what is she going in to do in December. <laughs> Every birthday that comes, we, want to we are out. in a competition mm. to say, okay, I need to do this mm. for my wife. Mm. And believe you me, it's always a surprise. I won't be knowing anything. Just wake yourself. up. Let's drive to... Mm. Where did we drive that, that time? And <laughs> that we're just driving road. and we, I didn't know where we are going. Yeah. He time, had to drive. I'm, I'm, I'm getting angry. I'm man, just tell me Turn where left, I'm going. Turn right. Because that's the knowing. So birthdays important mm. anniversaries oh, important, important right so on our anniversaries we always make sure we we, we do some travel mm. on our birthdays we always make sure that we outdo the each other, other. Mm. right mm. so 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 that's why i mean at one point like i said he's a man you fan so this cake for me yeah he yeah. was shocked. <laughs> he didn't expect this. Yeah. It was at some youth. I think it was when we were youth leaders. Shout out and... to Perseverance. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she sliced delight. Yeah. Uh, she she baked this cake for us. And it was for, we met, his birthday was colliding with the, a youth farewell dinner or something. Oh, yes. So yes. he was not expecting it. Yeah. Uh, we keep it oh. at the surprise level. So yeah. he was not expecting it. He thought it's all about the youth. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I also made you one. Know. Yeah, for my very first uh, birthday as a married woman, yeah. this is the cake he got yeah. for me. Yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> so um, we had, he had already taken me out on a weekend away. And mm. when I get home, there's this beautiful cake. Mm. Um, I think it's, it was from Vera Cakes in Kempton Park. Yeah. Beautiful cake. I, yeah. I was so surprised. You know, you ask yourself, when did this person plan yeah. such a thing? Yeah. When did they put the funds aside? Yeah. And, and all this stuff. So I, I just arrived to this beautiful cake by the doorway. Yeah. So uh, this was my birthday again. Um, I didn't know where we were going. Some <laughs> place in Val yes. took me for a skydiving. Oh. Ah, beautiful. Exp I could do this again and me again. Too. Me too. Me too. And uh, we always liked the sky. I think this was dinner in the sky again. Mm, and I was pregnant. December. I got a lot of... Uh, Crazy backlashing. male backlashing. Why are you going up? You're pregnant. There, you're and I was pregnant. one month from delivery, by yeah, the way. Yeah. But they don't know us. <laughs> no, I, yeah, I was yeah, actually one month. Yeah. yeah I, it you, was on a Saturday night yeah. and I delivered on the Tuesday. Oh, yeah, yeah. It wasn't one month. It was a few <laughs> days before delivery. Yes. Uh, that's how adventurous we are. 
So she's pregnant there and we are having dinner in the sky. Well, she got a backlash and said, why are you doing this? Why are you doing this? My mom too. Yeah. But anyway, we are like that. We are adrenaline <laughs> junkies. And, we like uh, doing things out of, outside, yeah. the, out of the box. So, yeah. yeah. This was in Hatties again for my birthday. Uh, yeah. yeah. We're what? Wild waters wild or something? Wild waters. Oh, that's again, beautiful. This was for my birthday. We went for air, hot air balloon mm. things. Yeah. Um, so, so, so you can see that we always try to outdo. The outdo. Other. This was my top post, like yeah. you explained. Yes, yeah. learn in, in March. Um, oh, Yo, and this the, the bungee jump. This was crazy. This yeah. was the, he surprised me with this in Titikama. Oh, beautiful place! So I'd encourage. You should visit. It. Please visit it. It's 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 quite far, close yeah. to Port Elizabeth. It's very affordable. And it's very mm. affordable. Yeah. 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 So it was come. beautiful. One of, it's one but of the scary. Tallest, one of the tallest. tallest the, yeah, bungee the, jumps. Bungee oh, jumps, yeah. I, I, I enjoyed skydiving and all those other adrenaline activities, but this, we both agreed, was the scariest bungee jump yeah, ever. Yeah. Mm. yeah. So uh, scuba diving. Yeah, scuba and, diving. One of the birthdays. Was, yeah. We beautiful. <laughs> They, it was our first birthday. This first was our first birthday, birthday. also, yes. Just mm. before I got my cake, yes. uh, we went to a, a nice game reserve in Limpopo, Chikudu. Uh, very beautiful. Yeah, yeah. yeah beautiful. very beautiful. Yeah. We had so much fun there. And you can see so we're relaxed. still young. <laughs> and petite. 2016, right? <laughs> yeah, before the children. <laughs> you can see there, I did not have a car, but now and check, yet, the, hey. check, check, <clears> check, check that picture now <laughs> so we are growing is. together guys we are feeding each other that's all of that's marriage <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah and uh, one aspect of our the dating goals is is travel, travel. like we, i said at the beginning we our common interest is travel we before like we travel. got married he would go travel around on his own I would also travel around with some friends of mine. I think we went to Mozambique and would go around South Africa and so on. So when we joined mm. into, got into this institution, mm. we're like, hey, we're not getting rid of this hobby. Mm. If God permits, let's mm. travel mm. as much as it's we possible. can. Our yeah. goal is to travel the whole world. Yeah, if God permits. God permits. Mm. Our goal is, is, is and we, we, we have done well so yeah. far. I mean, yeah. So this was our honeymoon in Seychelles. Um, we didn't take much pictures. Forgive us, guys. Maybe the picture is not so nice for obvious reasons. We're we were in locked hotel. in the hotel. <laughs> yeah. So we were hardly out. <laughs> we had to yeah. figure out a few things. things. <laughs> uh, this was Big Falls. Yeah, you had yeah. never been to Big Falls. Yeah, this yeah. was my first visit to the yeah. Victoria Falls. Yeah. Very beautiful place together. So... It's just been beautiful, you know, um, sharing this interest, you know, sharing common uh, hobbies. Yes, it's, yes. It's been fun. It's, yeah. it's brought so much joy. Joy. To yeah. Because our, you, it's things that you both like. You both like, yeah. yeah. And uh, where was this? Oh, this is Israel. Mm -hmm. Oh, one of the places that I can go on. I have so much to do, so much to explore. Yeah. The history, the architect. Oh, this, this, this is beautiful. one mm -hmm. country. God willing, we, we have this policy that once we have visited a, a country, we don't want to go to it again. But this is one country that mm. we will definitely, uh, God willing, visit again. This was, uh, we were pregnant again. Yes. I think we were pregnant with, with Elia Russia, yeah. at this point. Um, this was uh, Mount of Olives. Mm -hmm. And uh, after that, we go to Bali. Eliana is now there. So mm. take time. Uh, so Rua, Rua Rashe was with the Ruvas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's, uh, so it, it's been joyful. It's been, it's joyful. been joyful. You know, um, sharing common interests and also supporting each other in mm. whatever hobbies uh, we have with his soccer. I sometimes find myself sitting with him and, and also watching, which is something I would avoid. My dad loves soccer too, but I would not <laughs> do that. But, but now in marriage, I'm actually enjoying it. And yeah, yeah. This was Dubai. Mm -hmm. And then uh, and this was in Italy. Europe, uh, one of the coldest. Uh, Yo, it was freezing. Yeah. 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 And you know what, guys? We, we always, you'll notice that each and every year, mm. we always try to make it, um, uh, let's make it import, uh, a goal that for our anniversaries because most of these times it will be, be 
anniversary coincides with our anniversaries. Mm. So birthdays, anniversaries, very important. Mm. And uh, anniversaries, especially, it won't be just us, the kids. The kids but too. birthdays, yeah. it's just the two of us. We mm. always try to make sure that when it's uh, birthdays, it's the two of us mm. that are that uh, mm. uh yeah man so kids. this was rome with our <laughs> yeah. kiss and our little yeah princess took this picture of us yeah yeah ah oh, uh, this was a dream come true for me i'm You've sure always wanted most to of there. yeah most people that know me saw the crazy pictures i was posting i i couldn't believe it when we when we were still in the taxi and i saw the eiffel i uh, I shared that joy with him that he just looked at me and he's like, are you okay? <laughs> you know, I was, yeah. This, so that jump was a true reflection of what I was feeling at the time. Yeah, I remember. And we visited our friends in Slovakia. Oh, the Dakas, yeah. yes. Shout out. Shout out to the Dakas. Uh. And uh, this was still in Rome. We went to the seat of the Pope. <laughs> yes <laughs> to see where the beast stays so that was uh... <laughs> i was against it at first but hey look let's um, let's let's the, the... paint every <laughs> let's leave no stone unturned yeah. Yeah. Uh, it, uh, it's still friends right yeah love the museum because we have watched lupin that's the place yeah can they hear you yeah they can hear oh. you. yeah yeah <laughs> And there's a so soccer fanatic. Uh, Yo, we once visited. We uh, new, uh, what is this? Um, Allianz Arena, mm. Allianz Stadium in, in, in Munich. Mm -hmm. I'm not a Bayern Munich fan, but I took time to. to, to and they, so to there visit. we were doing both interests. We went there, mm. watched a game of soccer, yeah. and we were also yeah. doing our traveling common interest. Common interest. Yeah. Mm -hmm building um so there was actually something else before we conclude that i wanted to touch on marriage is indeed beautiful just to highlight on the fact that the devil is after this institution so much um our pastor pastor riso gave us such a beautiful frame on our wedding day yeah do this yeah okay so this frame he first asked us to lock each um lock each other onto the bigger padlock was to represent God. And then the two smaller ones is the union between Mr. V and myself. So Pastor Riso said, lock yourselves firstly as individuals onto Christ and then lock each other onto, um, lock, lock each other, like, like as you can see, to illustrate how the importance of God in, in, the in, in the relationship you mm. start with god in everything seek ye first the kingdom of god because the devil is after this institution mm. Mm. be aware of who the enemy is in this mm. institution mm. mr v is not the enemy mm. ruth is not the enemy and if you understand that in your marriage mm. that my husband is not the enemy mm. i'm not the enemy mm. but the devil is the enemy and he has and god has already Bamba. fought he has already fought this battle and won it. Yes, ma'am. So if we live knowing who the enemy is yes, and understanding that Mr. V wants to make this marriage mm. good, I want to make this marriage good, mm. it will indeed result mm. in, in, in a joyful yes, um, institution. Mm. Let's not be not, let's not wake up each morning mm. out to get the other. Mm. That since he did this, I'm mm. gonna outdo him and make sure that mm. he feels the pain I'm feeling. No, the person who should feel the pain you're feeling is the mm. devil. Mm. Love each other. Mm. cherish each moment yes. for tomorrow is not guaranteed and you are a team like you are saying you are a team true yeah you are a man you team you are working towards one goal that goal is to win the premier league <laughs> <laughs> the Ruba Premier yeah, League. <laughs> yeah, the goal is to win the Premier League. Subsequently, mm. the Champions League. So mm. you are not working against each other. Mm. Um, you are in one team. You have exactly. the same vision, exactly. the same goal. You know. So yeah, marriage is indeed a beautiful thing, guys. We've been married for six years. This is running into our seventh mm. year. Seven being the number that is perfect. So. <laughs> I I don't want to lie to you. Uh, we've had good experiences and um, it still feels like our first year of marriage yeah. because we always want to work hard on it. We, 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 we try to make it look interesting. Mm. You know, even on our 
days that we are angry with each other. I, I can't even I can recall why we fight. When was the fight. last time we had a fight? Yeah. yeah. And it's we are being serious. Petty. We're mm -hmm. not trying to, to, to be to act as the perfect couple. But marriage it, has been beautiful. Yes, it has been. It's been one of been. the best decisions I ever made yeah. in my life. Yeah. All right. Um, yeah. It's 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 wonderful. It's wonderful. So happy is the man who finds a true friend, and far happier is he who finds that true friend oh, in his wife. So true. Mm, so true. Important. That friendship is important. Mm. Do not rush in. There's no clock. The Bible does not even give us mm. a prescription date to say, mm. hey, by Be 30, friends. if you are not married, mm. you you've are lost you've lost it. Mm. No. Mm. Um, there's no stop this thing of 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 even elderly people that are watching this. Stop this thing of asking young men, when yeah. are when are you getting married? Mm. Or older women, when mm. are you getting married? Mm. It's not a forced institution. Mm. People choose not to. Things it's okay. Just flow. And and age is not, there's no um, you know when, when there's when, no age. When for I, it. when I got married, I no one even told me that yeah. now, now you can go and propose. It just flowed mm. because the time was right mm -hmm. and it had to be done. So also again, don't feel pressured to yeah. say, okay, now I must. Let's court your, your girlfriend wife, or your, boyfriend. Yeah. Uh, be friends. Get first. to know each other. Be, be friends. You know, we were haste. friends. Mm. Like we said in the introduction, mm. before we got married, we mm. were friends. Yes, we'd For fight. For years, and, and we'd fight. We'd even part ways. And, but we kept in contact. In contact. And we were friends. Friends. Hey, yeah. what's going on yes. with that yes. thing? Hey, yeah. Yeah. Beautiful yeah. friendship that we, we, we had. And that's the only way to go. If there's the friendship, trust me, your marriage will be joyful. If there's a spiritual foundation, trust me, your marriage will be Hallelujah. joyful. Hallelujah. So marry your friend. It's, it's a very serious, you might think it's a light um, instruction, but trust me on this. I'm happy and it's because I married a friend. Hallelujah. Question Hallelujah. die. Over to you, host. Uh, thank you so much. Once more, thank you. We enjoyed this and this has brought even more joy to this institution. <laughs> Ruba! <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, Ruba, can everyone hear me? Yes. Oh, okay, great. Um, okay, I think now it's uh, time for questions. Hey, guys, if, if you if you notice, Jola needs money, hey? Like, how are you going to be traveling to all these nice places and all of that? So, as you can see, we need to financially pursue, you know, being financially wealthy, you must pursue being financially wealthy. So I uh, will take any questions, comments that we may have. Mta, I don't know if there's any comments on Facebook. We can start there, then I'll read the comments on Zoom. Um, not yet, uh, Melissa, but um, yeah, not yet. Uh, but a, a, a shout out to, to Moano's dad, who's turning 50, and to the couple that eventually will turn 50 in their marriage as well. So it's happy birthday to Moano's dad. We forgot to say that in the beginning. All right, so I'm going to give you the hosting abilities now uh, so that you can be able to unmute participants. There you go. It's all yours. Okay, thank you, Mta. Okay, um, I've seen a question here on the chat. I think I'll start with that. Um, Ntabi L says, you two have shared sweet stuff. It's beautiful. Your transparency with money is cute. I have a few questions. Ruth mentioned a time you two were in a car with a motivational speaker having had a conflict or disagreement of some sort. How do you guys handle conflicts or how do you avoid them? Also the past week we learned about divorce and in one of the lessons we spoke about premarital sex, clouding judgment and having the potential to mess up a marriage. So did you guys engage in premarital sex? If no, how did you deal with the temptations as a young couple, especially in preparing for a lovely marriage and making sure that you are not infatuated? If yes, what can you say about it to us as young people? And what did it teach you guys? And then the third, that's a lot of questions. I hope you guys are taking notes, um, but you can always open the chat just to read them again. Number three says, do you guys think it's okay for the married to have friends of the opposite sex? Okay, that's the first question that we're going to read on, on the chat. So I don't know if you want to answer first, uh, because I don't see any hands. Oh, there's a hand, sorry. Let me just take this hand and then maybe we can answer those questions. Um, please unmute yourself.
I don't know if I've given you the, okay, there we go. Is it me? Yes. Am I? Okay, okay. Uh, thank you very much, guys. I mean, uh, some of the questions that I had, uh, I'm even afraid to ask them now. <laughs> but I'll no, ask no, this okay. one. <laughs> ah, because the Jacob's ladder is too high. Oh. But now I heard maybe initially you said uh, you met on, on I'm not, I, I didn't clearly hear how you met, but I, I just heard someone saying I was in Cape Town and someone was based in Jove. So most of the times, uh, I, I, I'm just assuming you were communicating using uh, a sidebar. So uh, my question is, uh, how reliable is, is expressing your feelings through typing on devices? Is it, does that, uh, I mean, can it carry a relationship or, I know of course there are challenges, but can we uh, brush it aside or uh, is this 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 uh, generation is experiencing a lot of things? Maybe it can be part of the communication system, part of the the the, the system that can carry the relationship to to the next level. Can we trust cyber uh, in into expressing how uh, you 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 feel towards your your other? Uh, friend, uh, so I want you to answer me uh, according to how you experienced that uh, communication uh, through the, the distance that was in between you. I think that that is the only question that uh, I think uh, right, for now. Uh, let me hear then maybe I can have the courage to ask the other one. Thank you very much, my friend. Okay, um, I think I think you can you can answer these questions because I think Ntabi asks quite a lot of them. Um, so maybe we can answer these questions and then we'll read the next set of questions. Um, you can unmute yourselves. Let me see. Yeah, I've given you the great. Um, okay, we'll start with the first question on conflict management. She said uh, the, the scenario that we gave where we were with Mrs. Nguenya um, in a car and we had a little petty fight before that. How do we how do deal manage, with conflict? How do we manage <laughs> conflict? Okay, so <clears throat> like we are saying, we are, we are sharing what has what worked works for us, for us mm -hmm. and uh, based on our experience. Mm -hmm. Um, well, conflicts, you are going to have conflicts like in any relationship, mm -hmm. uh, it's inevitable. Yeah, no your, one your can, backgrounds differ, so yeah, you are bound to yeah, disagree on a yeah. few things. But in marriage, there is a way of arguing, mm. right? It's an arguing of trying to get the other person, try to get yourself in their shoes. Mm. So if I am looking at it from Ruth's perspective, what would I be thinking? So if I'm, if she is looking from my perspective, what is she thinking? The 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 goal there being that as you try to resolve a conflict, I want to get into the other person's shoes mm. and feel what is is it is that feeling, is she is feeling at that particular empathize. moment empathy right so that's the first that's the first um, uh, step mm. at times it can be a bit difficult because it's you want to be right yeah. i remember even in our first year of marriage mm. you want to be right mm. and this one wants to be right but obviously as you grow you learn uh, well some of these things you you really can be taught to yeah. say um, um uh, okay you must do this, do this but yeah. i'll know that okay my wife 
when she's like this, I must approach her in this. And he yeah. also knows if I'm like this, this is the right way, to, way to go. At times, I mean, there was a joke that was going on, uh, which was saying that mm, married, fight, married uh, couples, when after the conversations fighting, they had, is did you eat it? <laughs> oh, the, you, tree is well, green. the tree is green. Yeah. It's just start, to break that just silent to break treatment. This, the, the whole silent treatment mm. uh, uh, aspect. Um, so for me, it's about empathizing, empathizing with mm. each other and. Uh, and we try what 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 has worked for us like i said in the first years of course it was a bit the first year the first year of pretty, marriage yeah it mm. was a bit hard because you want to be right i'm the first born i'm used to telling my sister to stop this and she stops mm. then you want to apply that to to him who is the last born mm. where everyone is sugar coating everything and rubbing him and caressing so we had to try and understand where our backgrounds are coming from mm. so for for me what what worked mm. is understanding mm. we will learn a lesson on understanding who the true enemy is mm. so mm. when big fights come but we i can't say we've experienced a big yeah, big fight i'll, I'll be lying thing. maybe it's to come but i pray it never comes mm. but what we've learned is understand who the true enemy is mm. who is the devil so in your fighting mm. mind your words mm. watch how you speak and give each other time to blow off steam that's mm. that's what has worked for me if mm. i'm really upset about something mm. i rather wait a bit mm. to discuss it mm. and then start slowly asking mm. and 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 for me it comes in question form mm. that but why did we not we mm. agreed that we would do this mm. why is it now mm. working out this way in question mm. form and if he's not ready to 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 tackle the argument mm. he'll say hey can we talk about this uh, mm. later mm. all right mm. and later being we we our 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 mission or i mean our we, we always make it a point that we do not go to bed with unresolved issues. Mm. All right. So if he says later, it has to be sometime today. Mm. <laughs> all right. So that's, that's, and, 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 and we, we pray about it. Like mm. we said, we pray about it and we understand who the enemy is. It's hard at times to actually say, look, let me bend down and uh, let me bend my knees and pray. Mm. But it, it, it has worked in the past few happy years. Happy wife, happy life. It's worked. Um, the other question on, how did we meet? Yes, we we did start. We we started talking before we actually met. So um, the cyber, um, we were friends. So we're not really. We were not. Yeah, really in a, relationship. Yeah, really yeah, in a yeah. relationship. We were friends. So, like the screenshots we showed you. Yes, he would hint at that he wants to meet me and and all the, those things. But we were more on friendship. friendship. We had never met before. So it's not like we were a couple that met and then he had to move. It actually started with him, with us being apart mm. and building this friendship, saying, oh, you're also a pathfinder. Oh, I'm also. So that's where we were building it on. So I can't say he was my boyfriend at the time. Maybe, maybe the, the person wanted to find out if long distance works. relationship works. So we were, like we said, we were not courting. Not we were really courting. Team. Yeah, but, but it's, not, it's not like we were. You only beginning of when we met in person. Yeah, two thousand and nine. That's when we officially yes. started know, dating. So it wasn't say, much of a long it distance was more relationship. Of a friendship yes, than it were for dating. Yeah. So I'm not sure how to deal with with long distance relationships. Yeah. And then the other question was marriage and opposite sex friendships. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I like this one because we once experienced it mm. and what has worked for us remember mm. we're not giving we're not marriage counselors mm. and telling you what to do mm. but what has worked for Ruth and Valentine mm. we say this thing of having close friendships where you're sharing he's got a, a, a girlfriend where he's listening to her emotional problems and it's so close to that extent or I've got a guy friend where I'm sharing that yo oh, today I feel so sick yo I've got period pains it's a no no for us mm. all right so mm. we 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 try to cut on 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 that as much mm. as possible yes we've got people we talk to hi how are you hey this but close friendships of really getting a person into our lives mm. uh, opposite sex we don't encourage we don't, we don't like them yeah. i yeah we both don't the reason being a woman are mm. emotional beings mm. you know and uh, how they sorry for that how they 
deal with emotions, you know, uh, mm. it can lead one thing to the other. Mm. So we, yes, of course, you, you you chat, you know, I mean, a church, you are, you are trying by, you are, you are have a leadership role. So at times you are forced to even take phone calls at night. There's a member who wants this and, but it's, it's, it's just that we try by all means to avoid Forced. a situation whereby. Mm. Uh, and, and Elder Mashubi. We are friends. Mm. So I have my friend here. Yeah. Yes. That's why we say the importance of this institution. Be friends before you marry your friend. Mm. So that there's no need to have mm. other friends. Yes. Mm. But your best friend should be each your other. Wife. All right. Mm. If I've got period pains, why not tell him? Mm. Why am I like, <laughs> it's just an example, but yeah. have your yeah. close friend should be him yeah. or her. Yeah. And there's a, there's some way in this book, I, I couldn't find it. Um, This book by Elder Mashudu. I encourage young people to get this book. Um, He speaks on, on emotional affairs, yes. all right? Yeah. It, there's, it's actually a thing. You don't have to have sex with someone to say he yeah. had an affair. Mm. Emotional affair is also an affair. Mm. So that's why to, to, to run away from such things, we try not to be friends with the opposite sex. Mm. So we discourage that. I don't know what works for your marriages, mm. but we discourage that. We talk to people, but we don't... Um, have close friendships did, did you with the engage opposite. in premarital sex that's no. the one we need to we didn't engage, to touch on yeah mm. we didn't engage in premarital sex of course uh we'll be honest we kissed it was hard yeah we kissed For here him. and there but it was, <laughs> yeah but uh we we had one goal yeah that uh, was one, marriage that was marriage i think it's also because when we got together got back together and we were we were quite mature look we started dating quite young okay we, mm. i was 20 mm. he was uh 20 uh, okay 23 we started dating quite young so we knew each other as youngsters and look we were so busy in the church mm. all right so time for that idle time mm. was not there to say hey and and i lived with my parents so she where was very get... strict <laughs> she was trying to get a kiss yeah it was it was a struggle so uh but uh, and then we met we met later on when when i mean not met mm. we, we we then decided later on in mm. our when we're now late 20s that mm. hey let's get married mm. and we we did that because also look our friendship was at this high level mm. we mutually we felt the same that mm. hey i this is the man I want in my life. Mm. And he felt the same. Mm. And the burning feeling that Paul talks of was mm. there. Mm. So he went ahead. The sensation. Yeah, the sensation was there. He went ahead but and don't, said, let's get married. Don't get don't married do for that reason. because you want to have sex. Mm. I mean, marriage is bigger than sex. sex. We did emphasize that it's, it is important. Yeah. But uh, marriage is bigger than sex. Yeah. Okay. We, I think. We have, we have covered yeah. those ones. Over to you. Sorry. Um, okay, thank you so much. Um, I hope you were answered, um, Tabby. And let me just see if we have some hands here. Okay, we have Takalani. I'm going to unmute you. Then after that, we'll have Muano. Okay, I'm unmuting you. Takalani? Mm -hmm. Yes. Uh, I am um, sorry for that. Um, I, I wanted to, to ask some uh, um, one question and I also want to, to comment on something. It's not Takalani, it's Mrs. Takalani. Um, one day we, we, we had an afternoon talk uh, at our church. I think it was early 2020 or in 2019. This brother is just that I cannot uh, quote the, the, the scriptures and the things that she, he was quoting from Ellen G. White. But what he mentioned is um, excessive sex. It's a sin. 
So I wanted to find out from our couples because they mentioned that you you know we have to enjoy sex as couples. But now if we we've got a quotation where it says excessive is a sin. I, I just want a clearance on that. And then the other thing that I, I would like to comment about is um very beautiful love story that you are you are sharing. I, I, I'm I'm very much touched. And I'm motivated also. But one thing that I've learned, I thought maybe, you know, it's just me and my husband who's not much on this material thing. You know, where you, you just buy each other maybe chocolates, flowers, all these kind of things. But I think what is important in marriage is to be true to each other. And the other problem that I, I also see, you know, in some couples, you will find that one partner is selfish. So I think by all means, we need to try to, to accommodate each other, to understand each other, to, to have feelings for each other. You know, for, for, for example, um, sometimes you'll find as couples, maybe we don't prefer uh, um, same music. I think that's where compromise comes in. You need, we need to compromise for each other. If maybe he loves gospel music, I love maybe uh, this other type of music, we need to accommodate each other. But the most important thing in marriage, let's not be selfish. You know, every time you'll find uh, one couple, you know, uh, um, I don't want to say maybe men or women, but you'll find there are in some instances where maybe as a wife, I always want things to be done my way. I don't want to give my husband a chance maybe to express his feelings towards certain things that we do in the house. But I, I, I think, you know, we need to avoid to be selfish as uh, married couples. We need to support each other. Sometimes, you know, I'm someone who, you know, I change ideas maybe sometimes five times in a day. And out of all these five ideas, you'll find my husband is is supporting me. And sometimes, you know, I sit and, and think about Ori. You know, I think this is very stupid. But you'll find Ori is even supporting me in things that I, I feel Ori, uh, they are stupid. But I think as couples, we need to support each other. The devil is at war with the marriage union. So we need to guard ourselves. We need to pray for each other, pray with each other, and then love each other no matter what. Thank you. Um, thank you so much, Mrs. Takalani. Um, the couple did mention, right? Ruba did say, um, Ruba, the collective, they did say that. that um, I think there's feedback. Could you please mute yourself? Thank you. All right. So, uh, Mrs. Takalani was basically saying that we need to pray, right, as couples. And Ruba did mention that marriage is one of the institutions where the devil is like guns blazing and he's fighting it. So, it, it's important that we take into consideration that we have to be prayerful people. So, Muano, I have unmuted you. Please come through. Thank you, Melissa, and afternoon, everyone. I wanted to ask, um, after the couple mentioned about how they don't encourage having friends of the opposite gender, um, you most of the time you do hear people saying that in, in marriage, you should have a life outside of your marriage, not to necessarily say you should have like a double life, but then I wanted to find out from them, do they have, um, not in terms of having like friends of the opposite, but even if they do have friends of the same gender, how is their like your life outside of your marriage? Do you also travel with your friends and go out with them and stuff like that? Okay, that's a very good question. Um, once you're married, should you only interact with your husband or, you know, Okay, I think I'll read another question on the chat before I take a hand and then we'll have uh, Ruva addressing the questions. Anthony says, our church always encourages us to marry when we're ready. A job career as a, as a black, as black people opportunities take time to come. At 30, you start working and have black text to sponsor siblings, ETC, covering problems that your parents did not 
You then marry at 38 or 40. You have kids at 42. By the time you get to, six, to 60, your kids have been, have, haven't have even started at tertiary level and yourself, you're getting tired. Aren't we creating a cycle of poverty as a church? Who will take care of those kids in case you slip? Okay, that's a very, very good question. Um, and then from the hands, I'm going to take Ushmo. And then immediately after that, we'll have Ubu Sisban. Uh, I'm Melissa. Hi, Hi. Ruba. Uh, it's a delight to be actually seeing you guys and watching you. All right, your love story is uh, one of a kind. It's a very beautiful one. Nias Fraya, you are fried. <laughs> we are just on all the sides, but my question now to you guys is, um, I'm sure there's definitely something that wish you did right, like initially when you were laying the ground, like the foundation, it was quite solid. So all that wish we get to see now is the bliss, is the good things, is the ever, is the everything. So my question is, um, how did you maybe lay your ground? Like eighty percent of us here are married. And uh, there's things that which we can avoid in a way or another. So I believe that, like as young people at some point in your lives, um, so there were maybe some other people. How did you maybe know that this particular one uh, is the right one? How did you know that Val is the right one? And how did you know that Ruth is the right one? And that's um, my question. And uh, the second question, uh, okay, I'm starting to bite my tongue now. <laughs> it's about money, 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 babe. Okay, try and understand me well. Money makes the world go round. It also makes the marriages to go round. I don't wanna say like if we take away all the money, cause for me, I would rather be crying in an aeroplane some way I'll be happy. Or if I were to have a spouse that spoils me, like in the way that which you guys are spoiled, I would yell on 10 and all that which you will see is, is bliss. So I don't know how to structure this in a nice way, but the question it revolves about money that um, if we were to take away the money, what do you have to fall uh, for? And um, we want to learn as well that uh, if the money is subtracted, what do you have that really sustains the relationship? And I think I'm done. Thank you. Um, Smo, I don't know if you're the one that put on, on chat that you copy and paste whatever the prayer. Uh, oh, that, yes. Like, so, I, like I, I don't know. Maybe Ruth wants to she, she knows. <laughs> okay. <laughs> she knows. If I speak to you, I always tell you, I'm like, yo, please, man, <laughs> just give your sister a recipe. Yeah. yeah like, I, 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 need like I want to wake it. up in Paris <laughs> and be in Australia tomorrow. I want to do these things. Like, you guys make us look like we are not prayerful people in a way. Because as much as I know, like I pray and I ask God for certain specific things. Okay, like uh, the Ruba thing. Okay, I don't wanna say that it's a model cause God forbid tomorrow you guys are like down and we have uh, put you in this pedestal and we look up to you to maybe in fact pressure could in a way, but it's a standard and it's every girl's dream to wear the roof crown in a way yeah no we i think we'll, we'll need like a, a template there uh ruth rua um on how you guys prayed clearly you're god's favorites we have established that because other kids are praying and nothing is happening so we need the template okay i will unmute wusi Okay, uh, good afternoon, speaker. Am I audible? Yes, you are. 
Okay, um, thank you very much. First of all, I'd like to pass the greetings to Valentine and Ruth. <laughs> Those are my friends and uh, I've known Ruth before I met uh, Valentine. I always said I used to be a spiritual mentor for Ruth, but now when they got married, because they got married before me, now I used to say to them, you guys, they are now mentoring me because I forever liked what they do. I follow them on Facebook most of the time. And um, I remember the other time I was in Port Elizabeth, there was someone overseas, but yeah. But now the point that I want to do here, I don't have any question, but I just want to thank them for their presentation. And also I would like to say, I, I, I appreciate um, the information that they've shared with us and I admire also um, their lifestyle. Look of it again. I, I, I could see via the comments that it seems like many people are intimidated by the the traveling, the places they have traveled. Um, Barcelona. I've seen them entering the. I know I support Barcelona as well. I've seen them some other time uh, <laughs> going to the Campino there, and they're like, "Yeah, these guys they can travel," you know. So, but. What, what I'm thinking here is that according to my assessment, because maybe it's because I know them, I think it's not all about going to Germany, going to Rome, going to Paris. It's about doing things together. I and my wife, we like traveling. We like traveling so much, but we don't have money that Ruth and Valentine have. So we can't go on loan or my wife cannot uh, kind of pressurize me and say, okay, maybe they take a loan and go here and there. And we are also working hard, myself and my wife, to to source money somewhere, to have more money than we have, or maybe to say, to source, to have another source of income in spite of our salary. So the thing is, um, we like traveling. I think our dream and there is almost uh, the same. However, the fact that we don't have money now or enough money probably to travel all around, we also like traveling. Mm. Now with my wife, we are teachers, okay, now. Hello. <laughs> okay. Um, we like traveling so much, but what do we do now? Should we stress because Valentine and Ruth, they afford money to go to Paris, to go to Germany, to Seychelles and all those things. No, mm -hmm. guys, you can just take a walk to a park. That's traveling. And go to Soweto and just go that to, to that museum and just go to um, Florida. There are some mountains there. Go to Brez and so forth, you know. So, um, my point is, let us, let us not be intimidated by their presentation. It, they are not saying for us to enjoy, we should also go to Germany or we should go to Paris. No, we may go where we can afford if your passion is traveling. I think that's the point. But uh, basically, I'd like to thank them so much for, for this presentation. And I wish you guys a happy life. Time is too short these days. Enjoy every moment of it. So that if it happens that one of you sleep, you won't regret. May the Lord bless you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Um, thank you so much for, for that comment. There's levels to this thing, guys. Hey, stick to your lane, eh? If you don't have enough money, do not now get into debt because also because Ruba is going to Paris now. You know, don't complicate love. Already Mjolo is difficult. So let's not put pressure on ourselves. So thank you so much for that comment. Um, I think I saw another question on the chat before I take another hand. Um, okay, where is it? I, I, I had I had marked it. I can't see it anymore. Okay, anyways, uh, we'll come back to that. Um, let's just take a hand for now. We'll have Ukuku. And then we'll have a Northern Conference. So I'll unmute you, Ukuku. Um, thanks, Melissa. I hope I'm audible. Yes, yes, you are. Um, thanks a lot for the program. And thanks to Ruth and Valentine for the, for the beautiful program. I just want to touch on um, the issue of sexuality. Somebody mentioned um, 
yeah, the issue of sexual excesses. And I think they were referencing the spirit of prophecy on that issue. Um, and and my, the context of, of my comment is really um, the marital um, context. I just want us to observe um, something here that is, that is very important. Um, when you look at how the Bible deals with the issue of sexuality, it's important from the get-go to, to, to appreciate that the Bible is not a sexuality manual. Um, the two authors that go at significant lengths about the subject are perhaps Paul and, and Solomon. Paul is the last person you want to consult on issues of sexuality. He had a very almost dis, dis, distasteful um, disposition towards marriage and, and particularly sexuality. If you read what he says, he says, if you ban, you must marry. If you, he casts sexuality as a solution to people that cannot control their sexual desires. As to whether that's God's, that's God's principle of sexuality or not, I leave it to you. But read Paul closely. Um, he's, he actually says it's good for people to be alone, except for those that perhaps cannot, when God has actually said it's not good for men to be alone. Okay, let me leave that one there. And then let's go to, to Solomon. Solomon and his Songs of Solomon is the only author in the Bible that comes quite close to celebrating and romanticizing sexuality as, as, as all humanity should. Though his only problem is that he romanticizes sexuality um, in as far as the woman is an, is an object to service the fantasies of, of the male counterpart. So he does well in romanticizing sexuality, but his angle is also lopsided because he presents the woman as an object to service the pleasures of men. He doesn't present a holistic bi-directional concept of sexuality. So you're gonna find problems there as well. Now let's come to Ellen White because a lot of us have surrendered our brains to the spirit of prophecy and that is regrettable. The only contribution Ellen White has given us about sexuality is really the volume she dedicated to sexual extremities the volume on testimonies on sexual behavior. Um, the more you read that, the more asexual you become. The more you read that, the more you, you, you're afraid to engage in sexuality. Now, I am not saying therefore we need to throw away the Bible, we need to throw away the spirit of prophecy. We need to understand the cultural context in which the Bible was written in which Ellen White is writing. So I want to cancel perhaps those that are quick to jump to talking about sexual excesses, blah, blah, blah. We have no right as a church to talk to people about sexual excesses when we've not committed ourselves diligently to talk positively about sexuality. You've got married Christians that are afraid to engage in sex because of our lopsided approach to this thing. We, we need to understand, and, and Ellen White makes a very important principle to say, guys, it is not the Bible that is inspired. In other words, she also, her writings were not the ones which were inspired. It's her as an author who is inspired. So therefore we need to understand the limitations of the human vessel, but still appreciate that the vessel is working under inspiration, but we need to broaden our horizons and perspectives. Thank you so much. Okay, thank you so much, Hugo, for that comment. I'm going to read a question from Um Giriji. Guys, I'm sorry, I'm just going to read the name as is from the Zoom. It says, um, transparency is key, absolutely. How do you surprise each other when you have a joint account? <laughs> An SMS is sent to both people, then it takes away, it takes away the joy of the surprise. How do you manage to eliminate the element of surprise? Okay. And then because of our time, I'm going to look at our hands. Northern Conference, I'm unmuting you now. Please, if you have spoken, just lower your hand so that I know. 
th th thank you, thank you, Melissa, for that. I think uh, my point has been taken. So thank you, thank you. Let me just lower my hand. Thank you so much. All right, no problem. Um, Michelle, am I muting you now? Uh, thank you so much, uh, Mr. V and Mrs. Zunumwe for um, taking us through this. Um, and I think from, from my opinion, what I pick up from this is that Mrs. Zunumwe married somebody she respects and Mr. Zunumwe married somebody he respects. So you find that um, when they say, hey, we are talking about something or we're working on something, they listen to each other. It's very difficult to listen to somebody that you do not respect or heed to their voice, or for you to give a suggestion or to, to share your thoughts with somebody that you don't respect. So I think what's, what's important for me, and maybe they can correct me if I'm wrong or what I'm picking up, what's quite, what comes out quite strong is that um, he married somebody that he knew was wise and she married somebody that she, 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 she knew or thought was wise. Um, so I just think it's important for us young people to also marry somebody you respect because you will always be undermining your spouse in front of people and in your home. That's it for me. Thank you so much for, for that comment. I think we have had a lot of comments. So I'm just gonna take uh, the last hand. Okay, not the last hand, but the hand I'm seeing here. Then we'll give it over to our presenters. Felicia, I'm unmuting you. Um, hi, thank you. Um, it's Felicia's husband. Uh, how's it, Ruva? <laughs> no, thank you guys for the for the powerful presentation. I think mine, um, just to add on what Michelle said, and also to touch on the, the concern about the need to go to Paris. <laughs> I think it, it, it's important that when you are dating um, and you are considering marriage, you have the future in mind. The future that people experience did not just happen, right? Um, you want a person who can be a partner positively. In other words, I've got a certain thing I want to do, but I need a helper to help me get there. Because there are certain qualities I might need complementary help on, which by myself alone I cannot do. Um, Valentine mentioned that, um, you know, he sees a distinct difference between when he was single and when he was, um, and, and after he got married. And, and that is something, guys, that we need to assess before you get married. Can this person, does it, is this person aligned with my vision? Right? Do they have the capacity or the potential? to gain the capacity to help me with my vision? And is my vision aligned to theirs, right? And if that is the case, you find yourself in a situation where both of you are working to build each other, right? The one starts off in this career and the other supports them. No, you can be a lawyer, do this and, and all of that. And you find what we then see a powerful couple. Meanwhile, this has always been the plan, right? And, 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 and these are things that you assess before you get married. So, so that one day when, when Paris happens, it did not just happen, guys. Um, it, it is something that you, you knew before you got, you got married that here with this person, we're gonna build each other properly, right? And, and, and lastly, I think maybe from a practical point of view, um, uh, Ooh, ooh, Valentine and uh, ooh, ooh, Ruth, these guys are employers. So I think let, let us encourage in, in, entrepreneurship, guys. Um, these guys are employers. So um, let's not put pressure on ourselves if we are not employers. Maybe let's start by becoming employers, right? And then maybe yeah, we can also uh, travel the whole world uh, in a short space of time. Thank you. 
Okay. Um. Thank you so much for that for for that comment. And 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 let's remember these people started at Karanicha, ne? So let's not forget that they started at Karanicha. I know Karanicha because I went to bed. It's quite affordable. It still is even now. So let's 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 remember that it's it's a it's a process, right? Um. I think I'm gonna hand it over so that we can answer the questions that have been shared and maybe also just add to the comments as well. Um, let me unmute you. Um, okay, I'm unmuting you now. Thank you. Uh, okay, so we, we did write a few ones. The issue of excessive sex, I think Google explained yeah. it very beautiful yeah. i don't think we need to say anything yeah, <laughs> he, yeah. He, he, he hit it home yeah so we... Look, with, yeah with sex we, we 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 also reserve our comments well we wouldn't want to yeah dictate what you do and how yeah. you yeah. treat it in your marriage so yeah. what's excessive to you might not be excessive to us yeah so do your marriage <laughs> and we'll do ours um then there was an, the issue of, from the same person, they raised the issue of selfishness in marriage. I actually liked that because it was one of the few things I highlighted in this book. Um, it says here in pa on, on page um, 30, 40, um, the key to marital success is for couples to reach out and meet each other's needs. Too many marriages are destroyed by selfishness. But success will be found when our focus is seeking to know what pleases our spouses and doing such things over and over again. Like we say, cherish each moment. Let me concentrate on being the best wife to Valentine. Let him concentrate on being the best husband to me. And if we daily do that, the, 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 this issue of selfishness will go away. That's why courtship is also very important. And yeah. And then there was a question, how is life outside marriage? Oh. Uh, well, I think you had planned a trip with your friends. Yes, uh, Lindy. Lindy and uh, uh, Miss Mlanjana. So they have a- But COVID happened. COVID happened. Yeah. So I, 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 personally, I have no, no problems. Mm -hmm. um, of course, as long as I know mm -hmm. where are you guys going, things like that i think uh, uh, there, there's nothing wrong with that because you you trust your partner and uh, they are free to have because i also at times on a sunday would go play soccer with the boys or you know we'll I, yeah i'm all not always home one one sunday of the month i'm out with friends playing soccer or doing uh, those things so yeah. yes we do have Life, life outside, outside the marriage, marriage. Um, <laughs> also with, with that life outside the marriage we've got our best friends he's got his own best friend sometimes they meet up do their own thing i've got my own best friends um there's a friend of mine we've been friends gloria we've been friends since uh, primary school and we're still friends to this day it's a friendship of 20 years we meet we go for hikes we 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 we, we have times uh we also have i've also have some friends uh, we call each other the room we meet up have some cook cook sessions at each other's places and we tell our husbands hey this is a lady's time so husbands will go out we we do have life outside of marriage i also have me time he's got his time at times i just go to the mall and have my own time and do my own stuff so yeah that's very important for you to also just no, think no and, and reflect on your life as an individual and also just to have fun with your friends yeah, yeah. your marriage does not do away with your individuality true yeah true um very important you but... marry someone because you are attracted to who they are as mm. an individual yeah all right so you cannot take that away from them once they are married of course um someone raised compromise is important in marriage where it's like i said i never liked soccer my dad loved soccer I never really liked soccer, but when I got married, I learned to actually see the she fun part of it. I know Rashford, I know, yeah, I know yeah. <laughs> Marshall and all that. So yeah, you, you learn to compromise and say, look, this is, I've now joined a team. So let me partake. What makes him happy? Remember, I'm trying to be the 
best mm-hmm. wife I can for him, but I'm not getting rid of who Ruth is while I'm doing that. So yeah, that's... And then there was a question about uh, marrying when ready. ready. What oh, is yeah. being ready? Because mm, you end up waiting till late 30s. Till late 30s yeah. and you get... Money is not just... It's not just money. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, um, yeah. I was going to touch the issue of money probably when we get to the other how, uh, issue. I think this weekend, Mary, is w- with the, this question. How okay. do you know when you are ready? Okay. So I'll speak from my own sp- experience. How did I know that I'm ready? For me, it just happens naturally. You didn't have to force it. You didn't have to Think someone twice. to come and tell you that, hey, now it's time. It just came in natural. Mm-hmm. And and I don't I don't I don't know other way that I can explain to say, uh, um, of course I had been praying and asking God to say, you know what, um, nah, nah, I, I need to get. But when the actual time came, it just flowed you know it just flowed and you knew you knew you know it yeah. as an individual that hey this is the person i'm sure the married people can can can, can confirm with me mm-hmm. with this you know that for a fact that this is the person that i want to spend my life with this is the person that I, and we even uh, i think we, we we had a little fight before 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 the engagement but still after the fight mm-hmm. we still is- acknowledge because it's it's natural you don't have to force and plan for it mm-hmm. so that's how you know mm-hmm. um you are ready and uh, that's how you know that this is the time for me to 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 yeah. be attached oh, with with this individual mm-hmm. there is no age age gap to say by 30 uh, that's when um uh, uh, i need to get married there is there is no press i don't think the church prescribes to say by this age or having this kind of job mm. or having mm. this kind of money in the bank account. I don't think the church prescribes. Yeah. What the church does is it encourages you to be in a state where if you invite someone into your life as mm. a man, right, be in a position that you can at least provide for them. The Bible speaks of providence and providence does not mean taking them to Paris right providence does not making sure that they have a seven uh, seven colors meal right pre- pre- providence is is um what's the right word is um is uh i wanted to say it's different based upon different circumstances that word yeah so there is no prescription to say at this age you know it for yourself you assess yourself and you know that this is the time for me to get married Mm -hmm. yeah you just know like you say with me same thing uh you would have dated other guys and you just know you that i i can't explain it (laughs) i can't explain it i can't explain the feeling but when he went down on his knee it was a yes and with no doubt at all i had no doubts of red flags that yo it's only been i i just felt ready yeah uh, spiritually and and with my entire being Without money, where are you? <laughs> okay. Oh, okay. Without money, where are we? So when we started, uh, there was no money. There was no money. So that's why we we spoke about the Karanicha story. We spoke about the Bez Valley. We spoke about. Uh, of and, co- and we mentioned how those little things mattered to mattered us and still do matter, do matter to us. We, to we us. still take walks. We. We, 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 so, so, so even if the money were to take in away, I mean, we, we started uh, when we had nothing, mm. you know, and we, we had nothing and out. we still, uh, I didn't feel any pressure to say that, hey, uh, other guys take their girls to Sun mm. City or these fancy places. Even my dressing, that is a, <laughs> you should see how I used to dress. I'm sure those in the GH group would know. I think someone once posted a picture. Of, so I was just being me. I was just being real. Uh, I didn't, I wasn't working, but I knew where I wanted to be. Mm. And I knew what I wanted to achieve. Mm. So even if money were to go today, we know that we can build because we have built in the past 
French. It just did not, I think like what Elder Mlanjana was saying, it, 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 it was, it's a process. Mm. You don't wake up today um, planning an overseas trip. It's a process, right? It just doesn't happen because uh, today, whatever, it's a, you build up to it until the time comes and you have to be patient with yourself. Uh, and I like what um, Brother Vusi says that there is no need to be to feel pressured. Yeah. There is absolutely no need. Like what you say, we say write, even, your, own write your own love story. Yeah. You can never be, be us. Obamas. Yes, I can never be the Obamas, uh, Obamas or the Mlanjanas mm. or the Chidembos or which, whichever couple you can think of. Mm. They are them and this is us. True. So you write your own love story and uh, no couple should put pressure on you because number one, you don't know what made them to be where they are. Amen. So, so, so you don't know the, the struggles and, 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 and the things that they had to, to be with. So you'll be setting up yourself for your failure. Be inspired, yes, and that's a good thing, but don't feel the need to be to be someone else you are not mm. uh what else there we've covered that one michelle sexual covered. Discover. respect michelle yes. spoke of respect i fully agree with her you cannot um um without respect um I, I doubt you can have a joyful marriage so respect the respect element actually goes very far and is very important in in marriage it, it it covers everything your conflict management if i respect him we will fight in a mature manner um it, yeah respect I, I i salute that she she covered she then, covered how do you surprise this other when you have a joint account so Not, we so yeah. we do have a joint account mm. and we also have separate accounts mm. and we also give each other pocket monies in those accounts in those accounts so we do have a joint account. We also have separate account. Joint accounts mainly to for cater bills. for bills or anything that has to do with the major projects. Mm. And that's where the money goes in. But because I, I will need to put fuel somewhere. Yeah. Right? Of course, mm. she, she, can, she has access to that joint account. She can check. She can log on and see what's going on. I can do the same in here. I mean, in, in her account and in mine. So that's why we are able to then pull off the surprises uh, at, at, at times. Mm. Uh, you have to be, how then do you do it? Because your couple is always seeing you. Well, skillful about it. Be skillful about it. Mm. Uh, it's, yeah, I can give you an example. So for instance, if I book a place, say we are going um, to Tsitsikam, right? I can book it without paying, right? But I'll pay when we get there. She's already been surprised. So I'm just giving an example. So be skillful about it. You can find ways that you can surprise your partner. Um, you know your, 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 your circumstances. I, I can't really prescribe, but you can still surprise your wife. We've been sure. surprising each other From on the all our birthdays. Mm. We've been doing that possible um then uh, someone asked about the foundation uh <laughs> what what kept cynthia was asking that what what is it what did you do right uh i, I think to me uh, finding someone who is in the same like we said at the beginning finding someone who's at the same um spiritual level as you it, it, it really covers, to some people, this might seem like none really, not really an important um, 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 thing, but to me, I, I, have see, I can testify um, being from the same church and, and believing, having the same beliefs um, set our foundation, uh, made our foundation quite solid, all right? Um, having the same vision academically, um, in, in so many ways, we, we, we found that, hey, we agree. Um, um, and, and that made the, the foundation quite solid. Mm. So I would say it's spiritually and, and, and it's, the, it's, it's the hobbies, it's the, the sense of humor and all that, just aligning everything with the, finding the similarities between each other. 
is, is what made and the long-standing friendship you know um yeah, like we to, say i wanted they, to say that we've uh, been friends forever the, um the, the friendship foundation yeah i think it helped us in a way mm. because even the issue of conflict management that mm. was raised earlier you know when you've known each other for that long you find a way of how you can deal with you've been friends before you were even lovers sure. so you 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 know each other mm. so it's it's one of the critical things that helps helps us in a way okay time is gone i think, I think we have, answered yeah. all yeah let's give it back to the host Okay, um, thank you so much, Ruva. Uh, quickly, I will take Gift and Ash. I will unmute you now, and then we'll have Kumalos. If there's any other hands, could you please raise them? Our time is not on our side. Okay, um, thank you very much, guys, for such a wonderful program. Um, we, we really uh, benefited a lot and really appreciated uh, such such a wonderful wonderful program. Um, also, uh, something to note, you know, as as you see the presentation that was going on, you can see that there's a lot of maturity on the couple, which is very very phenomenal. Uh, I, I thank God for that. I think uh, it has to continue. Uh, it's, it's it's a good thing to see. Um, the other thing that I'm noticing is uh, many people are only taking one element of of the presentation which was the traveling aspect. I, th I think these guys, they shared a whole lot. I, I think uh, personally, I would take a lot, I, if not one or two out of the presentation. The presentation was quite, quite good. Um, it, 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 it was indeed an eye opener. You know, it, it's also good to see a couple that's doing well, that's trying to outdo each other. You know, um, I, I've always thought probably with my wife, I'm, I'm the best version of, 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 of marriage. But when I see uh, other people and how they do it, I'm like, wow, baby, I, I think we, we, we still are doing right. We still need to learn um, or probably do one or two, three things. They, they, there's a whole lot of things that they said, and, and I actually enjoyed it. Um, and also how they, they, they complement each other on the presentation. It, it's, it's quite good. And, and that's that, that, that is very, very good to, to, to say. Um, let's not dwell on one element of the presentation. There's a lot of things that has been presented. And I just wanna thank you again, guys, uh, for, for, for your honesty, obviously, it's not easy to just share your story uh, with the rest of the world, but the story is good. Uh, the, you, 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 show, you shared your, your challenges and also the, the, how, how probably you overcome them, which is good. Um, we, we are happy and I am happy. But one thing just to add on to what they are saying, people have different interests and different likes. So, 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 so as much as somebody else uh, would, would, would want to, 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 to move with, with one element of the presentation. Take, take, take the whole presentation as a holistic. See what you can improve, see what you can take, see what can actually edify your own uh, setup and, and, and improve as, as a union. I'm, I'm actually happy and uh, thank you guys uh, for, for this uh, wonderful, wonderful presentation. Thank you and, and bye for now. Thank you so much for that comment. Um, we are going to have Kumalos, I'm unmuting you. Hi, hello, how are you? Hi, we're fine, thanks. Oh, well, it's good to see you again. It's been a while. Um, well, I have a few things. My tech home lesson is that, um, hey, <clears throat> there is more to enjoy in marriage than to be said about. And also, before marriage and after marriage, there is a lot of like, there's a lot of good that you see. <clears throat> Even when you look at those people who fight in their marriages and end up leaving each other and maybe divorcing, when you look at them when they were single and after they were married, you will see there's a huge difference. The marriage brought something better, but they chose to focus on the bed and that, bed and it tend to go and they it drew them apart <clears throat> so that one one of the lessons that I got to the like there's more to enjoy marriage than 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 that. Secondly it's um um what level are last I'm sure doing or in a relationship <clears throat> um 
Angazivele, I don't know what thing is long, it makes sense to me in in, in Isin. But once you are <clears throat> you see yourself wiser than your partner, <laughs> uh, then you won't last. Or maybe once you become a detective, that like what were you what were you doing here? What were you doing there? Let me see your phone, let me see that. You 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 won't last. <clears throat> um if ever there's something you can do for yourself, take that cleverness and use it for each other, not against each other. Whatever energy you have, it's, it's, it's best if you use it for each other, not against. Even whatever skill you have, it's best you use it for each other, not against. And remember, this is not war. Uh, you're not in a war, in a war that you're uh, men against women but like you are in all that it is you against the world. <clears throat> and last thing I'm learning, I just learned that marriage is more than the looks and also marriage is more than the money, even though the money is important, but marriage without money, hey, good enough. So if you are aspiring to get married, make sure one of your goals is to make money. If you don't do that, whether you're a woman or you're a guy, make sure that's, that must be your focus. It must be your first line. Or would I must focus on making money. Uh, you know, the, 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 the thing, like especially to guys, the effort you put in, in getting girls and trying to, to look good so that she will say yes to you. If you can you put that effort in, uh, in making money, when you get married, you will enjoy marriage better. They, they, they may confirm our, 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 our speakers today that when there's, there's money, a lot, of, a lot of unnecessary fights, they just shy away, you know? <laughs> money, money has a tendency of bringing smiles, you know? So, so, so yeah, that's my last point that guys make money and go for money, then you will enjoy. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um... Ruba also mentioned that marriage is not just about acquiring legal sex. It's about finding someone that you can build with, right? So we, they are a testament to that. So they can go for all these things because they have built together. So as you are finding what I've picked up from what they're saying and what Skubuza is also saying, is that you need to be very careful that it's not just about the looks. Yes, they may not be that important, but also remember to, to, to pursue your financial goals together. I will unmute, I think it was. Okay, Kumalo. Okay, I think that was Kumuzo. Please put your hands down if you have spoken. Uh, Kay Lamini, I'm unmuting you now. Mkwenyane wase lenduza. Brian, you can, you can. Okay, um, we'll move from Brian. Sanele, I'm unmuting you. Thank you, thank you. Uh, thank you, guys. Um. What an inspiring, uh, inspiring lesson today that we, we had. Um, what I can take in this lesson of, of, of ours today is the, the foundation of this um, marriage of these two people that have been presenting to us today. Um, I think they put God first. They spoke a lot about God, a lot about church, a lot about positions of church, 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 and it was just church, church, church. And 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 when I heard about that, you know, I said truly as much as we can try to be so nice and uh, work money, as long as there is no God, it, it, at some point we will fight for that money. Mm -hmm. and, 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 and and we need God more than anything. We always say that. 
Uh, these people they dated when the uh, Umtala there he was uh, what you call a pathfinder director to a point of now Umtala is head elder of the church. Guys, can we say amen to that? Mm. You know, this is so inspiring. Guys, keep it up. Um, I'm one person, I'm also married and I love church so much. Um, though I haven't got much positions like you, Mtala. Hey, your positions, your positions are too much, man. Yeah, but I'm saying uh, I'm enjoying the marriage and especially, you know, when you are connected to God, everything just falls in, man. La Panje, they are just trying to break down the issue of their or the, the gen of the marriage. But let me tell you, the, 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 the foundation of this, it's God. So God makes things to fall into, into its places, Baba. You, you don't need to struggle. You will, they can talk deep and find a way. How did you guys, hey, we kissed you, hey, they were, we were trying the premarital sex. Hey, God first and everything shall follow. And then, then at the end of the day, we might try to, 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 to find the bits and pieces of, of, of this, but God first. Keep it up, guys. Um, let's praise God until Jesus comes. I will say alliance and wherever. I can wake up in alliance, yet I still have a, a bad relationship with my wife. But let me say this, as long as you put God first, respect is, is guaranteed. As long as you put God first, um, 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 you know, love is guaranteed. As long as you put God first, everything is guaranteed. Keep it up, guys. We love you so much. Thank you so much for that, Sanel, and bringing us back to the foundation. Uh, we got carried away with those Paris pictures and uh, we thought, hey, you know, maybe we should get married for traveling only, but the foundation is God, right? And thank you so much for also showing us that in your relationship. And it also goes to show that if God is involved, you know, nice things happen, guys, like even the traveling happens. So thank you so much for that and for bringing us into that remembrance. I will unmute um thank, thank you thank you so much uh, melissa thank you to our lovely couple who came to our platform i think it's, it's so refreshing today is such a refreshing day oh, because we have gone through a month of uh pain suffering and and depression to be honest um uh, questions we are asking ourselves should i get married uh, you know what what's happening what if i get married and it happens the same thing that happened to the other speakers um stuff like that so it's so very refreshing to to find out that there's the beauty of it all and, and thank god thank god for this and keep it up in, in in whatever you do i love i love the verse of um ecclesiastics i see there i think melissa our couple is really feeling called but there's a verse in the bible about people that are feeling called ecclesiastes chapter 4 verse 9 two are better than one because they have a good return for their labor. If either of them falls down, one can help the other up, but pity anyone who falls and there's no one to help them up. And if two lie down together, they will keep warm. I think that's true for them right now, but how can one keep warm alone? Then verse 12 says, though one may be overpowered, two can defend themselves. Now the last part of that, of that verse is important. A cord of three strands is not easily broken. It's, it's, Two is though one may be overpowered, two can defend themselves, and a cord of three strands cannot be broken. You're talking about two people, but suddenly now there's a cord of three strands coming through. The numbers have changed. I think there's something beautiful about marriage whereby it's the two of you, maybe physically, but there's always a third partner there who's God Himself. And when He's there, that strand cannot be broken. So I think it's it's such a delight that we have such conversations and maybe thank thankful to God and the 230 team and, and all the speakers that have spoken the world month of July, which is the month of marriage, and we're ending it on a high note like this today, that um, there is so much love, and love is a beautiful thing, let's go out and look for it, let's let's be better people, let's be better husbands, let's be better uh, 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 partners, let's do our best to make sure that uh, the sadness that we have around our world is destroyed. I think we live in a, such a cynical world that we cannot wait for people who are in love to drop out of love. We cannot wait for the happy people to look unhappy. 
you know, we cannot wait for, for those that look like they've got things covered, they have money, they've watered, for them to go down. I think it's such a sad and diabolic thought to even have. Let's push out for the good parts, for the positives in marriages, in our relationships. Let's do our best to keep each other as happy as is possible. Soon enough, our Savior will come and, and, and happiness is going to be guaranteed day in, day out for eternity. Hallelujah. Jabo. Amen. Thank you, Mta. Um, Brian, we're gonna give it one last try since you're the last hand. Please unmute yourself. Okay, I'm gonna try again. Okay, I guess technology is, is refusing you there. You can type your question um, if you're failing to unmute. Okay, you can just type your question for us. But uh, for, for, for all that has been said, um, thank you so much for reminding us that God created marriage. Because nowadays, it's, it, 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 marriage is such a scary and a daunting thing because of the failure. And the fact that people don't even show like it's a happy thing, you know. And thank you for coming out here and being bold in your love and showing us who are also yet to go there that it's possible to actually be happy in marriage and it's possible to actually be with the right person. And I I, I know that we have learned a lot as 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 two thirty the platform the people who are here. Um, I I I myself have learned a lot and I know everybody has learned quite a lot. I, I don't see any comments here on the on the chat, so I don't know if Brian has typed anything, but I'll give over to a couple to just, you know, give us parting words um, in terms of what can be like the key takeout of, of, of your presentation. So I will unmute you now and um, the platform is yours. I think Sanele put it out beautiful there. Uh, thank you. Shout out to you, Sanele. Um, the, the, the parting word being, let God be involved in your union. Start with God. Yeah. In the beginning was the word. So start with him. And um, some of these things will fall into the right place. Mm -hmm. You will see it just, it's like, a, it's like a jigsaw puzzle. All the pieces will fit in right. So our parting words is allow God into your relationship and let him be the one that um, takes over. If you are already married and probably you have certain challenges in your marriage, invite God into your relationship. Let him be the one that takes over. Pray together. You are fighting. Just say, uh, love, come. Let's pray. Yeah. Let's pray. Yeah. You know, you have been, never been talking for the past seven days. Come, let's pray. Mm. Pray mm. together. Hold each other hands and start mm. praying. Mm. I can tell you soon after that prayer, you're going to start talking. So the, 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 there is no, like what Sanele said, there is no two ways about this. Guys. God. Um, God has to be your foundation. Have that relationship with him as an individual and as also as a couple. Um, I don't know. You want to say something? No? Yeah, to the young unmarried, do not be pressured. Marry when you are ready. All right. Uh, start with your relationship with God. We, we cannot over um, emphasize that point. Start with your relationship. Be so busy in the vineyard uh, that before you know it, you find yourself uh, walking down the aisle and saying, wow, but be busy and find someone busy, just as busy as you in that vineyard. But do not marry because someone said marry. Do it when you are ready. To the marriage, there is hope. We can testify. There is joy in marriage. Find that joy within yourselves. And to those that don't want to get married, we hope this might change your mind. <laughs> Thank you.
And thank you once more to the 230 cast, to Melissa, Ashley, and Mta. Thank you so much for inviting us. We, we like we said before, we enjoyed this. It's also a, a form of revival to, yeah, to our marriage. Sorry, right? We love such things. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, guys, we have learned. And uh, those who are considering marriage and we're scared, I hope you're no longer scared. And those that don't want to get married, I guess it's still fine, but you can also change your mind, right? So thank you so much, Ruba, for sharing with us or allowing us into your lives like that and, and, and helping us to also, you know, learn some of the things that in, like marriage involves. So from 230 Conversations, I think this is it. Um, I think Mta might have announcements. So I'm going to just unmute him and uh, he will just let us know what's upcoming. If there's anything. Mta, I'm unmuting you. I'm going to also make you the host. All right. Thank you so much, Melissa, for that one. I appreciate everyone who came to the platform. Thank you, family. Thank you for staying as long as you did. Thank you, Melissa, for your wonderful job. Thank you to the beautiful couple that we had. Hopefully, one time later on, maybe some of the people that are here that are not married will come to the future 230 conversation and be the couple of the day as well. We've got a couple of announcements. Just one maybe would be probably very important. What's happening next week? What's happening next week? Here we have it. Usamu. Gasa is taking us through a beautiful, beautiful topic, and the title of the topic is um, Why Am I an Adventist? So we're getting into the month of uh, August in South Africa. It's Women's Month, and so that's the month where all things beautiful, women and women-inspired uh, uh, topics that also cover men, yes, are going to be there. So please do come through on the 7th of August. Why am I an Adventist? So maybe again, the next week of it to look at again um, for, for that program is the word against the world. Mutlebendalomavika is coming through on that one day. Then Unos Piwabaloi, still in August, and that's as far as I'll go, will be about Ama Childwood childhood wounds that's what's going to be happening so thank you family for coming through at this moment i think it's it will be expedient that we have a word of prayer and then after the word of prayer i think we are going to stop the live stream on facebook uh and then we can have what is called the after scenes or some people call it the after tears whereby it's just a casual place where we discuss more of what has been happening today maybe for like maybe 10 15 minutes then we close it through obviously our couple is not um um uh, you know forced to stay through i think um you know they've done their part today they've done it very well so might as well just let them go inside the house maybe uh, enjoy the rest of the evening together so so I think it's, it would be nice if we have a word of prayer and maybe because our elder head elder is a married man. So we might, might, might as well ask the rovers to take us through uh, and pray for us there. Uh, hopefully they can take us through. Can you just pray for us? I've just asked you and meet you, the lovely couple of the day. Elder, you can pray. Uh, <clears throat> let us pray. Heavenly Father, we come before your throne of grace. Uh, as we end this Sabbath, thanking you for the blessings that you have granted us during the day. You said, make this Sabbath a delight. Indeed, it has been delightful. Continue blessing us. Uh, Heavenly Father, we have young people in our midst who are contemplating on finding life partners. Some already who are in the valley of decision. They are not sure whether that is the right partner for them. We ask that you guide them. You, if it means giving them a sign, give them a sign, Lord. And for those that are still looking, Lord, you gave uh, Adam Eve. Surely you can do this for them as well. Uh, we also pray for the married amongst us. Um, if there are any, if there's any couples that is facing challenges, you know the challenges that they may, we dedicate their marriage into your hands. You created this beautiful institution. In the name of Jesus, may you make that institution to be beautiful. May you make all those unresolved issues be resolved in the name of Jesus. We are thankful, Father, for the time we have had to talk and discuss. We are thankful for your presence. We know that you've been with us. Now continue being with us even now 
as we are going to our various homes and uh, dismiss us, but never from your presence. Be with us with the week ahead that lies ahead. We pray for success amongst your young people, those trying out new things, those looking for jobs. You told us that we must never be uh, tails, but we must be the heads. So I pray special blessings upon the coming week that Lord, you open up opportunities for your young people that you make way where there seems to be no way. Thankful Father, we are grateful. Be with us now and forevermore. Through Jesus Christ we pray. Let everyone say amen. Amen. Amen and amen. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you to the Facebook family. Just um, maybe one thing is we will upload this particular presentation today on our YouTube account and it's 230 conversations SDA. So please do check it out, 230. Can one of the 230 conversation members please write the name of our YouTube channel quickly, 230 conversations SDA. You will find this probably within the next um, hour or two uh, so that at least you can rewatch. There are also other programs that we've done before, beautiful ones that we've done, you can always rewatch them and do like the page, subscribe to it, and more importantly, share the information because it is news about salvation and everyone. So it's, conver it's 230 Conversations SDA. That's the name of the page. I think uh, Kay has already written that. Thank you so much, family. I'm going to stop the live stream on Facebook, but before I do that, I'm going to send the Zoom link in case some Facebook family members would like to come to the after scenes, right? So I'm gonna send the Zoom link now on uh, as a comment on Facebook there. Uh, and I'm gonna pin it quickly so that people can be able to, um, you know, if you wanna to come to Zoom at this moment, you can be able to do that. So I've put it out there as well. So you can see it, I'm gonna do it again uh, and again. There you are. So then you can be able to see it. I'm going to stop the live stream now. Um, let's have a great evening. For those that want to stay for the after scenes, it's open. Live stream on Facebook is stopping. God bless you all. And let's see each other next week as we're coming for another 230 Conversations program. <laughs>